What's up, party people? We're here doing another fucking tier list. This one's about goddamn Naruto. I'm joined uh, by, again, uh, my friend Declan, my buddy. Everyone's favorite clown school professor. <laughs> Declan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hong um, Kong. Oh, we're, we're doing important Naruto characters. It, emphasis on important. Because yeah. some of these fucks are not especially tauntaun i couldn't live without tauntaun <laughs> um just to preface j just because i felt like it uh I I we talk about naruto literally every time like i see declan probably like maybe once in a fucking blue moon and we talk about naruto literally every time it's never about anything new it's just always about naruto yeah usually i'll just insult him i'll say something like <laughs> you know this idiot thinks ms sasuke <laughs> could do anything to pain what a fucking moron and then you know it just blows up from there yeah to it just blows up screaming you know screaming matches so like you know be prepared for for a screaming match because like oh it's it's it'll happen it'll happen inevitable uh if you saw our last tier list you already know uh our tiers um we have yes close to yeezy hella good i irrelevant we changed this one um and dead ass trash uh yeah man so let's just fucking hop into this shit uh first character and probably the best one <laughs> in the show fucking akamaru man like we got we got him up in yes category Obviously. He's, he's a doggo he's a friend to everyone uh he's great remember when he pissed on madara <laughs> that was great really added so much to that scene very emotional yeah it was great um I mean, people was lying just... there dying that's right he was lying there dying and instead of bringing him the medical supplies the dog took the time to piss on madara it was really honestly a fitting way for uh, Kiba to go out. Yeah, this this uh, fucking great list already. Kiba um, should have died before he got travestied by Boruto. Do you see what? Did you see his new design in Boruto? It's actually it's, terrible. I saw. I've seen his his like older design, but not his Boruto design. They greased that man. Really? They. That's unfortunate. Greased him. He has a cool. He has a cool like older like when they're like in their 20s it's like when naruto and hinata are about to get married he has a cool design then anyway akamaru fucking sucks and is irrelevant so like who cares he's a well dog. wait should we just pair him up with kiba what do you think of kiba where is kiba let me st kiba's right here i don't actually know um I think he, kiba's okay he was i i mean like he had an okay like not really an arc he didn't really have an arc but like he had a couple moments that were cool in uh, the tuning exams and like the Sasuke retrieval arc, um, but that's like it. Pretty that's much. like it. Like yeah, he's no. he's he's aight, but like you know, he has an okay design. But outside of that, he was like nothing really. He's aight. He's yeah. aight. He's aight because of because he rose up to the challenges and the tuning exams and Sasuke retrieval. But other than that, he's kind of irrelevant. Yeah. But he does have some good moments. Yeah, he does have some good moments. I really like his fight with Naruto in the tuning exams. That's I really cool. think that's a class act fight right there. Um, it doesn't do like anything super impressive, but like it, it shows like they, you know, they have like a kind of like a little tiny rivalry. Um, and it's cool. He's cool. Um, Anko, uh irrelevant i mean what, uh, did, what did she do like at this like the only thing that she really did was that the only thing that she really did was um be the proctor for the tuning exams also she had a curse mark yeah her design was good but they didn't really do anything with that plot line yeah she had a curse mark but nothing did anything ever come of that yeah she... i don't think anything actually the only thing that came of that is that they revived orochimaru from her curse mark later in the war arc that was it that was all she did i forgot about that actually yeah um that happened but like uh, <clears throat> she I, I honestly it's wasted potential i think um anko is super hot and uh <laughs> <laughs> i didn't do anything with her design so like i don't i don't know she's she's irrelevant she's really nothing um Fucking Azuma. Speaking of hotties. Ha, speaking of hotties, he's a hot potato. Um, I think Azuma literally is hella good because even though we don't see a lot about him, 
Um, he like he's like inspired Shikamaru. They like the Akatsuki suppression arc was like Dude, all he was awesome surrounding his death. Hidan. Yeah, that fight against Hidan was cool. His chakra blades are awesome. Yeah. They're badass. I also think he's a more important character in death than he was, like, alive. Actually. So, like, because, like, his death is felt all throughout the rest of the series by Shikamaru. So, like, and, like, you know, the rest of Team whatever eight that they're on. Um, Eno and Choji. So, like, I don't know. He's cool. Um... He has uh Hey smokes, what's cooler than that? Yeah, smoking, you know. Yeah. No no no, but like literally the <laughs> the the his attack burning ash, is that what it, yeah, 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 yeah. That's hella dope. That's cool as shit, man. Um Also yeah, no, he's fine. the son of the third Hokage, right? Isn't that Um a- No, he's not the son of the third. He's I think that's his uncle? Maybe I know he's related, but um, or maybe he is. No, he can't be. I don't think he's not Konohamaru's father, but he's like his uncle, I think. Yeah, he's Konohamaru's. He's related to Konohamaru, but I don't because I think he is the okay. son of the third because his name's Asuma Saratobi. Yeah, but yeah, but Konohamaru calls um, Hiruzen his grandfather. Yeah. So, but Azuma, that, he, Konohamaru isn't Azuma's kid. No. He could be, like, Asuma's brother's kid, though. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, maybe he is the son? I don't, I don't know. I feel like there was some scene with... The... There's definitely a relation, but... Yeah, because he was at Hiruzen's funeral, and he was all, you know... Yeah, sad. yeah, yeah. Not well, just everybody he, was. Yeah, everybody but... was fucking sad, <laughs> but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, he's cool, though um killer b's awesome. killer b is yeah i think he's hella good too i feel like he's close to yeezy he's really kinda awesome well well the only reason that i don't think he's close to yeezy is because um like <laughs> after he like has his arc with naruto then he just kind of like fucks off and doesn't do anything for the rest of the series well what is he so i mean to be honest, when you've got Hashirama and, you know, Naruto approaching Naru Jesus and Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, what is what is Killer B gonna do okay, against but Madara like, Uchiha? But like, still, he didn't. He doesn't even do anything with like his the, his tail beast. Like, it, also, isn't he supposed to be dead? Like, he's supposed to die because he got the tail beast extracted, right? Did Madara have the eight tails? Yeah. I don't, I don't. By the end of it, he had the eight tails, remember? Because fucking, um, uh, Sasuke put all of them in the thing. The, the, that's the right, yeah, devastation. Sasuke all, did. All, all of them were in the planetary devastation. And then, clap. <laughs> and then, um, he woke up after, uh, the, like, you see him wake up after the, uh, infinite Tsukiyomi is dispelled. So, like, isn't he supposed to be dead? I think he... I don't know how he survived, but... Yeah, I don't know. I guess either. he survived... A few people survived getting Biju extracted from them. Like, like Obito had the ten tails extracted from him, and that dude was still rolling around like it was nothing. Yeah, but the only thing that was keeping him alive was Zetsu. Didn't Zetsu abandon him by that point? No. I thought Zetsu was an extension of... Uh, of Madara. Madara. I mean... Uh, it was an extension of Kaguya, actually. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, uh, at that point, Madara was the one who took the Jubi out of him, so... But not, um... I think it was probably Hashirama's cells keeping him alive. Oh, maybe that was it. But also, like, I remember Black Setsu was using his... Basically, his what we thought of his corpse at the time, because we thought he was just dead. Mm. But then he, like, woke up or something. I don't know. He might have just been unconscious. Yeah. Um, but okay. I think Black Setsu was keeping him alive. Um... But yeah, also, like, like he, you know, he, Killer B, like, helps Naruto, but, like, it's kind of it. It's kind of it. It's kind of all he does. He fought Sasuke in an awesome fight. That was pretty cool. Uh, I don't know. I don't give him enough points for that. 
Uh, well, okay. You know what? Sell me it's on fair. him. Like, can you sell me on him? Can you sell me on what Killer B actually does to well, put him close to Yeezy? To be fair, I really think of him for all the awesome fights he has with Sasuke and Itachi and Kisame. I just love the. I just love a lot of those fights. But that, I mean, he that didn't doesn't fight really, Itachi. That doesn't make him better. Yeah, he did. did Reanimated he? Itachi. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He fought, I mean, yeah, yeah, both yeah. of them fought Nagato. It just felt like five minutes, like, it wasn't a big, like, it was... Yeah, I mean, because Nagato slapped them. <laughs> I mean, he wasn't having any trouble. No, he wasn't. Um, but, as a character, I guess you could say, because just being in cool battles, but he's got a unique and interesting personality. Yeah, he does. Give him that. Yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, yeah. I and just, he's a rapper. Yeah, he is a rapper. I just don't... <laughs> I like how he was laughing at Sasuke as he fought him. <laughs> where he was rapping and laughing at him. He was like, yeah, I mean, you can't rap, so get out of here. <laughs> I just don't think any of those qualities pushes him up to close to easy, you know what I mean? We don't have anyone up there, so it's hard yeah. to compare him to anybody. It's hard to compare him to anybody right now, but we will have a couple of those characters up there. Maybe anyway, we'll uh, Chio or Randy Chio is not going up there. I don't now. care about Chio, really. It's just like... I don't, I don't care. I get it, the whole... Like, she's there to give the whole theme of like passing on the torch to the younger generation but who gives a shit she's old and decrepit and really annoying her really character's kind of one note i mean kind of ends it yeah she brings gar back to life and yeah cool yeah that's it cool yeah you're still irrelevant. yeah irrelevant irrelevant even the the puppet shit like the the ten puppets in the white cloaks or whatever that was okay shikamatsu's ten puppets yeah that was pretty How awesome the- fuck do you remember what that's you. called because you they were pretty awesome you remember the most obscure shit of that was game. a that was such a cool fight though uh, it was okay yeah it was pretty okay i love sorcery um yeah we'll get the fucking sorcery my boy uh choji i put him up with kiba too i think he's i he should have died during sasuke he should have died during sasuke retrieval um but uh, i mean he's not he's not irrelevant he's pretty cool. he's not irrelevant but like he helped fight i mean give him this he helped fight tendo pain which is like you know the guy who destroyed the entire leaf village yeah but he barely did anything yeah in but... that fi- all he did was was it was like send information to tsunade i think it was that and then kakashi saved him from dying information about pain is so huge when fighting him but it didn't even get to her what i don't think what happened or maybe or maybe it did get to her and it just didn't matter like naruto fought him without basically no i remember naruto fought him with very little information on him he had all the information on him. No, That's because how he won. no, because the biggest information was that was that Shizune had, and Shizune died before she even fucking. But he knew like they were linked. That was one of the most important things that yeah, Jiraiya he, learned. He that knew they that they were linked, but yeah, but that wasn't again. That wasn't through fucking Choji. Choji didn't do shit during that. Okay, no. What did he? What did he? What did he do? <laughs> Well, he look, survived and then not, he got Kakashi he's killed. He's not that a one note character. He got Kakashi killed. What do you mean he's Kakashi not a one note Kakashi got himself killed. He fought fucking pain. What, what do you what? mean he's not a one note character? His what throughout the the a majority of part one, his only thing is don't call me fat. And then when people do, he gets really mad. No, and but that's then it. Shikamaru's like you know people shit on Choji, but he's actually like. I'm relying on him. Yeah. When on the mission, he's actually and he actually does it. He's like, actually he the out... physically or he's like the physically strongest. It's like yeah, because he can turn his body into a giant fucking boulder. Of course, he'd be the fi- like the most physically strong. Who gives a shit? But his whole thing is looking past and being like, okay, this guy's pretty reliable. Like yeah, I guess good. he's brave. But, but that stuff. was it. That was the, that was his one moment, and then he's never done anything. Well, and that's that, why he should have died. And that moment was horseshit too, because of the stupid pills. <laughs> well, he should have died, but look, I'm not gonna mark him down for that. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't you push could, him above but I eat, but I wouldn't. He's push definitely him above not I, irrelevant. But he's not irrelevant. He has a moment or two, the Ino Shikacho Yo Yo combo or whatever the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah that was cool. Yeah. What did uh, Eno add to that, by the way? He she takes over Shikamaru's body. That's it. 
Wow. But I don't know why. Riveting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, let's, let's move on to this. Yeah. Uh, this, the Mizu, the not Mizukage. Yeah, the not Mizukage, that is irrelevant. Actually irrelevant. I, cool weapon, though. I, I heard he has a cool water I hammer. I don't remember what his name is. He has a cool water hammer. He becomes a Mitsukage in Boruto. But the Mizukage sucks. That's it. Sucks. That's it. Yeah. The Mizukage sucks. She's she sucks. Zabuza assassinated the Mizukage, and Zabuza was cooler than both of them. No, the other Mitsukage. No, I know he assassinated Yagura or whatever. Yeah, Yagura. Yeah, that's his name. By the third tail. Zabuza? No joke. The Mizukage <laughs> was fucking strong. Zabuza? I'm amazed. No joke. That dude's a monster. Um, Donzo. Uh, I hate Donzo's character. Uh, I know he has one, but I just think it's so stupid and forced I, I, that I just hate Donzo. See, I can't put him in irrelevant because he is he has significance to the story. Yeah, so you put him in the trash. But I don't want to put him in the trash because, I, I mean, like, I get it. You know what I mean? Like, I get what they were going for. I don't hate it. But it's they just... failed. They failed in what they were going for. What they were going for was a cold-hearted alternative to the third Hokage, but where that falls flat is when he literally says, oh, you have Koto Matsukami you can literally avoid an entire <laughs> massacre with no consequences at all? Oh, you're dead and I took your eye and also Itachi, kill all of your family. Like, like that's not cold-hearted. That's just mentally deficient. Um, That's just idiotic. Yeah, yeah. He's just stupid. Yeah, yeah I hear what you're saying. I wish he was better, though. <laughs> I wish he was actually but like, the the role that he like the role that he has in uh, the Five Kage Summit like that was okay like that was good. No. His no, you don't think no. so. I mean, he just he fought Sasuke and then you know died because it was Sasuke. And well, he had a... it was supposed to, it, you know, it's supposed to further Sasuke's hatred towards the Leaf Village and you know his retarded decisions are a you know like a, a tipping point almost in sasuke really hating the leaf yes but the problem so with like, donzo is why... that those decisions are re yeah but like the, but my point it is, shouldn't have been like that my point is is that that's why he he kind of succeeds as a character you know what i mean like he that, only that's... succeeds insofar as he's hateable and he's yeah. just a stepping stone for Sasuke. but that's not a good character that's just this person, we just make this person make all the stupidest decisions possible, and then they're hateable. Yeah, I hate him because he's an idiot, <laughs> not because he has a different philosophy to Hiruzen, yeah, I, just because he's I a guess. dumbass. I don't know. Yeah, I'll let you fucking get this one. I, I can't really put up a fucking argument. I don't care about Donzo that much. He's just um, too stupid to be a good character. Yeah. Uh, Darui, he's okay. He's a He's a Yeah. Darui's cool. Yeah, he's got a cool ability. He's got a cool jutsu. Um, the fucking black lightning tiger guy. Um, awesome. He has a okay fight against Kinkaku and Ginkaku. Uh, They're really fucking irrelevant and stupid. I hate the Gold and Silver Brothers. Yeah, they they suck. By They're... the way, apparently those guys killed the second Hokage. Like, fuck out of here. Yeah, Naruto. I don't think so. Nah, um, nah, nah. also they had like Nine Tails Chakra or something. No, I don't. Fucking I don't get fucking. Out of here. I don't buy it. But Darwin beat would... him, so like, fuck. Who cares? Toby Rama would. Sh Shit on Darwin. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm gonna, like, seriously. Maybe Toborama was an old ass man. Who knows? Oh, no, no, he wasn't. No, because, he was literally, because yeah, Hiruzen was a young yeah, man. Was anyway, like, um, Datara! I love Datara. Datara's a fucking close to Yeezy. He's a legend. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Do you think Datara's a yes? Nah, well... Like, what What? Is, what bad does he do? You know what I mean? He's he, kind of... He doesn't he only, exist for long he enough He only really... does good things, but even then, all the good things he do he does are super impactful in each arc he's in, and he, he fucking has, a, like, a really cool jutsu, and he has a dope fight with Sasuke and Gaara, like... He does, but as a character, I mean, he's cool, he's unique, Yeah. but he's kind of... He doesn't have that much of an impact, you know? I mean... And his fight with Sasuke I mean, yeah, is awesome. Yeah, but like for one of a like one of the lesser Akatsuki members, you know what I mean? I wouldn't. The way he value a lesser Akatsuki. Member. I mean, he's pretty. He's pretty awesome. I mean, the upper Akatsuki members are like Pain and Conan and Obito. Conan and Itachi. Like those are the upper ones. That's like, fair. Okay, Datara yeah, is yeah. like a, a tier under them. You know yeah. what I mean? No, but, like right. his relationship with Itachi—that's super interesting. You know, like I, I don't know, man. Like I think he's really cool. 
I think Leave Datera him... was always my favorite. <laughs> yeah, no, I like Datera. I think Leave him in close to easy because I don't know who's yes until we really get there. We can reevaluate. Um, later. yeah, we can reevaluate. Um, I just think Datera doesn't quite rise to that to that occasion that to that power and like. Mm, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But he is godly. I mean, yeah, but like, don't get I'm, me wrong. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm um, not. Not saying Data. I yeah, mean, we Data have to, is a we beast. Have to wait. We have to wait. One of the um, best Akatsuki members. Gara, fucking Gara, man. He's a close to Yeezy. Yeah, Gara's a beast, especially in the original Naruto. He was crushing fools. Yeah, part one, he was breaking legs, fucking dismantling people. And he had one of the best fights in all of Shonen against Rock Lee. Yeah, God, Rock Lee. Anybody can like no nobody can take that away. You know what I mean? Like. Uh, I, like, I don't think, like, Gara has some, like, missteps here and there, where it's just like, ah, that's weird how they did that. Like, how they brought him back, that was kind of weird. Yeah, he doesn't do too much in, I mean, he does stuff in the war arc, but, like, eh, eh, Also, like, I hate the fact that, like, I hate the fact that, like, they pose Gara and Naruto as, like, really good friends and, like, comrades and arms and shit like that. But, like, you never see them do anything together, really. Yeah. It's just, like, Naruto saved Gara and then they have massive respect for each other. And then Naruto saved Gara again, and then they have massive respect for each other. Like, that's it. You know what I mean? Pretty um, much. I mean, Gara be like, does the one thing Naruto wants to do the most before him at, like, a really young age. Like, I get that. But yeah, like, but who in the Sand Village is gonna challenge Gara? Yeah, I don't know. Like um, nobody. No conqueror. No <laughs> conqueror. <laughs> um, yeah, no Gara is super cool though. Um, I really like. It's really cheesy and like kind of lame. But like, where he's fighting Sasuke and he has like the single tear that falls out of his eye because he's like, oh, he, yeah. he's just like he thinks Sasuke is like too far gone. But, like, oh, man, that gets to me, man. That shit gets to me. Um, that's why he's close to fucking easy. Dude, hell yeah. Um, Mike Guy? I'd say he's... I don't know where I want to put him. Hella good, I would yeah, say. I'd say hella good. He has I, some... I don't really know what's... Like, there's nothing really wrong with Guy, you know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with him. I think he's a little one note, but he's also awesome. And he's not really that one note. Yeah, because... he's not really one note. Like he has he like he he's he's very you know expressive, but um oh and like over the top, but like he can also be like serious and stern and and really you know yeah he can be like he's got more he's more than just I train all the time because he cares about Lee. He's like look, well he cares about all his students. He does, but he like but yeah, but, but him like, and Lee are like yeah. Because he's like, look, I mean, you don't have to get this surgery if you... There's only a 50 per I don't want you to die. Yeah. Basically. And Lee's just like, I, I don't care. I yeah. Just, I'd rather be dead. Yeah. And he's like, I respect that decision. Nah, he's cool. He is he has cool. He has, a like, a good fight against uh, Kisame. Dude, I, that was a I 30% really, clone of Kisame. I really love the gag... No, when he kills Kisame. Oh, you mean when he used the seventh gate? Yeah. But, dude, do you... Literally, I he had to use the sixth yeah, gate yeah, to, against, against the Kisame clone. Yeah, that was kind of that that was, that was, that was, that was ridiculous. Um, oh my god. I really like the gag, though, where, like, every time Kisame is like, oh, guy, the the <laughs> the beast of the Hidden Leaper, whatever the fuck his nickname Taijutsu is. Taijutsu Master. Yeah, Taijutsu he's like, Master. And Kisame's like, or. <laughs> the guy's like, uh, you. Yeah, you, you guy. You. I remember you. I, you. <laughs> a, he's great. Uh, Akatsuki. And Kisame is just like, I, I'm yeah. gonna kill you. All right, all right, we're gonna fight now. We're yeah, trying, no, yeah. guy's cool. Um, he just doesn't have any of a, those like big, big moments. Um, that that put he did go him up to like close to Yeah, but like, then he should have died, and that yeah, would he actually that would have been like that would have put him to close to easy. But because Naru Jesus came in and was like, "You're better now," patch him up. I'm like, ugh. Gay to death. Oh, not anymore. Come on, man. Yeah, they should really. Let him die. Yeah, because that made that made his sacrifice so impactful. Like, yeah, he went eighth gate and literally started beating yeah. Madara. Literally, this monster of the, a man, the biggest Chekhov's gun we've been waiting to go off for the entire fucking series since the Chunin exams. When he's like, when you go into eighth gate, 
you die. And then he does it, and it's like the coolest shit ever. Uh, But then it's, uh, yeah, it's, that's, Mm. that's just, that's a little, that's, that's upsetting. Um, but he's still really good. Yeah. Fucking Haku. Uh. Haku's pretty cool. Yeah, Haku's pretty cool. I'm, I'm tempted, I'm tempted to put him in hella good but i'm wavering between hella good and i yeah me too because haku is pretty dope yeah and yet i feel like he's not there long enough to like do much yeah but even then like his like him and zabuza are like lasting have like a lasting impact through the series you know what i mean like remember when when Itachi or not Itachi when Kakashi fought them when they got reanimated and he was like, "I'm glad you guys were Naruto's first mission." You know what I mean? Yeah, because it, it, it shaped it shaped Naruto's like ideal of like ninjas aren't tools like they're people like. That's you know true. I mean? Haku did serve a purpose, and for what it's worth, Haku's a cool villain or was a cool antagonist. Yeah. And had a cool, like, jutsu. Thing. Yeah. They're pretty awesome. He has Zabuza's. Yeah. I, I, it's just, like, I can't think of one without the other, you know what I mean? Yeah, and Zabuza is definitely hella good. Yeah. Like, yeah. So okay. I'm, like, I'm like, yeah, yeah. No, that's like, fair. Haku, yeah, he's Can cool you chuck too. Zabuza up there as well? Uh, Yeah, we might as well get Zabuza out of the way. Let's he's just chuck him really up there. Fucking, like, all the way down here. He's last. He's cool. But... Yeah, he's cool. Um... I, I mean, feel like those two go together. Yeah, they can't. You can't really say one without talking about the other. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and Zabuza, like Land of Waves, that was cool. That's a that's an okay arc. I, I mean, people. I think I feel like I've told you about this before. Like people, uh, uh, they really like overvalue the Land of Waves arc just because it's kind of like darker than the rest of Naruto. Mm. Um, but like it's still it's still solid. It still has things to like. Um, uh so are you locking your car (laughs) i could hear that all the way from over here um okay hashirama uh, hashira i literally forgot his name um (laughs) uh hashirama is as a character he's i as a character he's i yeah he obviously can't be i mean he's not irrelevant he kind of shadows the whole series i think he's hella good honestly i think he's hella good i know he's strong but as a character he's not really much of anything yeah well no but like i mean he's basically just like naruto you know what i mean but um uh you know his relationship like when they were kids with uh with Madara, like, I really like that, um, I, you know, I just, I, I don't know, I don't know what it is about him, really, like, again, he's just Naruto, but doesn't stop, like, the cycle of hatred between, uh, the, the Uchiha, so, like, I don't know, I think he's good, though, you know what I mean? I don't know, I just feel like, for what it's worth, the other Hokage or more interesting than he is as characters. More interesting? Really? Yeah. You think fucking Hiruzen is more interesting? I think Hiruzen is irrelevant, dude. Why do you... Honestly? Whoa, what is it with your hate for Hiruzen? <laughs> Hiruzen's awesome. Wait, he doesn't do anything. Dude. He has the one fight against Orochimaru, which isn't that good, and then that's it. Dude, that that's fight... That's it. He doesn't, ma- he doesn't make the characters awesome. like grow in any kind of yes, way. Yes, he does. The parallel is between him, like, he is over, he oversaw another, like, kind of Team 7 lookalike. Yeah, with I get it. Mar- And it's basically, like, this is what will happen to Sasuke if he goes real bad. Like, if he goes all the way. And the whole thing is, like, he doesn't want to kill Orochimaru because he failed as an instructor. Yeah, I get that. But then he's like, but I have to. And that's when he goes full power and starts... Yeah, okay, but even then, what does he do outside of that? What does He's he do? He's the fucking third Hokage. What do you mean? That's what it, does he that's do it though. He doesn't do anything. It's just like you say, oh, he's the third Hokage. But like, 
he doesn't do anything in the fucking arcs that he's in. Yeah, because he, he dies. He overshadows, he overshadows, like, Naruto, kind of. Like, he makes sure he's, like, okay. Yeah, he's an important figure to Naruto. He, like, tries to protect him, even though it's, like, kind of misguided. Yeah, but, like, that's not but really... that just makes him human, But that's honestly. not really shown in the series all that much. It you is. get, like, a little kind of tiny bit of, like, oh, yeah, like, the third Hokage does care about Naruto. It's just Naruto's an asshole who keeps painting all over his face. No, but, like, it's also shown that Hiruzen, when he tried to protect Naruto with the law he instated, he kind of, it kind of backfired and he failed. Yeah. And he really regrets it. And, like, it shows. That's why, you know, even when Naruto fucks around, he's like, I look, I mean, you shouldn't do this, but I, I understand. And he's, like, he's, like, compassionate. See, here's another thing about Hiruzen, is, like, he's thrown into contrast with Donzo. Even though I hate Donzo and Donzo sucks, yeah, it's a valid comparison in the ninja world to say, is this guy too, like, is he too forgiving? But even then, I... I... And he was of Orochimaru. He let Orochimaru get away. Yeah, but even then, I still feel like Donzo has more of an impact across the entire series than Hiruzen does. No. Even with that type of... Well, yeah, because every, like, even though his decisions are stupid, they still are... They impact Itachi's character for what he has to do, which directly impacts Sasuke's character and what his goals are, which is going after Itachi. And then, once he learns the truth about Danzo, then that becomes his goal Here's to kill him. his decision to make it illegal to talk about the Nine-Tailed Fox literally set the tone for all of Naruto. The entire time. His, the, them making well, the him beginning the Hokage, of Naruto. them making him the Hokage instead of someone else... That set the tone for Naruto because the third Hokage was sympathetic to Naruto. And it's still, like, Naruto's life was still terrible. Well, the only reason that they made him the third Hokage again, or, like, that he got reinstated was because fucking Minato died and they were like, well, fuck it, here you go, guy. Like, here you go. He's just but the it, Hokage like, they could have made it, like, who was the... Who was the leader of the Uchiha at the time? Who Fugaku? Was, yeah, Fugaku. They could have made him the Hokage. He yeah, wouldn't give a shit about Naruto. Nearly, he wasn't nearly as strong. Also, Danzo and the other fucking council members wouldn't have wanted Fugaku to be Hokage. Well, that's was, why he didn't become Hokage. That was the whole point. <laughs> That was the whole point I of why you're he didn't really become not Hokage. giving heroes in enough credit. I, I'm to not... put him under the likes of I'll, I'll Darui, I'll put Shoji, him, and I'll put Kiba. him in I. Okay, I'll he's put him honestly in... hella good. I but... don't think so. I don't think he does. L I I think he does a couple of things. Okay, I'll give you that. He does like a couple of things in the beginning of Naruto, but even then, like that's it. And they're not that important. Like, that shit about the law uh, in fucking uh, not talking about the Nine Tails, that was retconned into the series later on. Like, we didn't get that shit when he was still alive. Like, that was just, that was just retconned in. But you do get a lot. And he does do stuff at the end of the series, too, when he gets brought back. In the he, Tensei. He, he saves Naruto's life he saved, from yeah, the Jubi. Yeah, with the rest of the fucking Kage, though. Yeah, so, so he's does, up, so basically does, on so the does, same so level as Tachirama. So fucking Minato, but, like... It doesn't, it, like, I don't feel like he's, you know, he's important during those arc, that arc, you know what I mean? Well, like, he was Hashirama, dead. hold on, time out. Hashirama, <laughs> Hashirama gets a lot of focus put on him and Madara's relationship. Toborama gets a lot of focus put on him and Nar or, uh, Madara's relationship. Or not, well, his relationship to, to the Uchiha in general, but yeah. Um... Oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, Minato has, uh, you know, stuff with Naruto going on, and then Hiruzen is just kind of there. Like, he's just there. He doesn't really do anything when he comes back, but besides just being there. Like, yeah, it's just like, they yeah, they brought all the that. Kage back, and he's just, he's a Kage, so like, yeah, he's back. They definitely could have done more Remember this that. guy from the beginning of the series? Like, I wish he had more of a heart-to-heart -heart discussion with Naruto about what happened. See, that would make sort sense. Sort of apologize. That would make like, sense. Look, I, I messed up. If he had more heart-to-heart -heart talks with Naruto, even in the beginning of the series, yeah, I be would think Kirizen was a better character, but like, he's just, like, he's just not. He's just not. I don't know. I wish they had done more with him. I do too. Honestly, I do too. But like, you know. That was a long time. Yeah. Hedon. Uh, Hedon is I. You don't like Hedon? 
I said he's I. It's not he's bad. He's not dead ass. Tra- he's not irrelevant. I think he's, he's pretty, I. I think he's pretty cool. I think he's okay in the arc that he's in. I guess he's not on the same tier as Zabuza though. No, like besides being crazy and immortal, what is he? Uh, what is he? I mean, he's really arrogant, and he really he just fucks around with the yeah because people's... he's immortal. That just ties into the immortality <laughs> thing, like that. You know what I mean? Well, he could be immortal and not be the most, arrogant. The most interesting. I mean, he could, but again, he's crazy, so he's not. Uh, the most interesting thing about Hedon is, you know, him killing Asuma, and then uh, he almost Shikamaru lost. getting revenge on him. Yeah, he's kind of good in that way, though. When Shikamaru basically he, he comes after him, and he's like. Yeah, I'm just gonna blow you up. Yeah, with but that's all these not he Don doing anything. That's just Shikamaru being cool. Like that's you know what I mean. Yeah, that's, that's not he Don. Um, it's kind of the same thing with who was the other stepping stone guy? Kakazu. No. <laughs> who was the other stepping stone? Donzo. Guy? Donzo was a stepping stone for Sasuke to make Sasuke cool, but Sasuke was just cool, so it wasn't really Donzo. Yeah, Sasuke is just cool anyway. Ugh. Uh, Hinata. Um, <laughs> why don't you go first? Why don't you tell me about Hinata? <laughs> uh, well, you know, as a waifu, I'm like, dude, uh, yeah, yeah, A plus. Yeah, A plus. A plus. A plus plus. But as a character, uh, mm. decent, not bad, decent. I liked her dynamic with Neji, but after that, and then she sacrificed it, literally, I just sacrificed herself against uh, the diva path, yeah. which was pretty insane. But that only puts her on the level of Choji, who also fought the diva path, and you know she I died think, for. Uh, it. But I think I think fine. she's more. Um, I think she's more important than the other characters on the list overall. But like, I don't really like her. I don't think she's hot. So like. What a what? <laughs> so like you know, this is like whatever. I don't really like her that much. She's alright, but like a poor alright. Even though she's important, I don't. Know. I don't like her. She's not that important though. She's not. not ir- she's entire- not irrelevant. I wish they had done anything with her. I Naruto you know fucking what? ignores her right. Yeah, after. she literally told him that she loved him. Yeah, got almost killed by the diva path and then nothing came. Yeah, then it. nothing happened with that. And Absolutely then also in the war arc, she like slaps him to make sure he's like okay to like to snap him out of Neji dying. Um, Neji should have died during Sasuke retrieval though. Yeah, uh but so. here's th- let me fucking finish my point, god damn it. <laughs> um <laughs> he, uh you know she, she slaps him and then that's like that's like kind of a powerful moment. But... Is this a controversial place to put Hinata? Uh, I I think I think I don't feel like it, but like well, I think it's other not my channel, would. so it's yeah. it's your problem. Yeah, not so mine. like fuck you, Hinata, Eno. Yeah, I don't have to justify Eno is my, irrelevant. I don't have to justify myself to your viewers. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Eno. Eno is irrelevant. She does nothing. She does nothing. Hot but useless. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, like I, I she has her fight with Sakura, but like who? That's cares? the worst fight in who, all of the tuning. Yeah, who cares? Who? How did they cares? make it through the forest of death? Who? I'm just gonna Shikamaru. Shikamaru literally <laughs> carried that team <laughs> on his back through the forest of death. Yeah, she's she's. I don't I don't know how she's more unimportant than like ten ten who's like the poster child of unimportance in naruto <laughs> but somehow she is like she is just she's just as bad or worse she does nothing um aruka aruka's i right. yeah he's i right. he doesn't um, do that much I, I wish they did more of them I again really, wish they did more with this uh, man. i i talked about i talked to you about it uh, a couple weeks ago but the last seven episodes of naruto are like right before Naruto and Hinata are about to get married. Um, and Aruka has a lot of focus placed on him in those episodes about like how he feels about being Naruto's mentor and like how he should congratulate him on the wedding and like, 
you know his interactions with all these characters about and like how he's going to you know continue with his like career as a teacher and stuff like that and like that stuff's really good i think uh too bad it wasn't in the main series so like literally they did yeah. nothing with him in the main um, series i wish anything had been made of him yeah except for the beginning like he was naruto's like father figure exactly it was that's such an important role yeah naruto literally just... asks him to to be his father at his wedding yeah like, not kakashi yeah not kakashi not, not, well jiraiya's dead i mean jiraiya's dead <laughs> <laughs> not here is it i mean he's also dead but... dead uh okay you not know... minato oh fuck <laughs> oh shit yeah it doesn't help when most of your father figures and your literal father are, are all dead. yeah are dead yeah but no, fucking Aruka, he's okay. He's cool. I just, yeah, it just, they don't do enough with him. Oh, yeah, you know, and I I just see so much potential that so this was much not wasted potential. Just not expounded <laughs> upon. Yeah, this is really the, the tier for like potential that wasn't tapped into at all. Uh, um, Itachi. Uh, yes. I think he's a, he's a close to easy. I don't think he's a yes, you know what I Dude, mean? Dude, he is definitely a yes. Okay, okay, here, let me make a case against why Itachi is a yes. Okay. Okay, so, like, they do this thing with with Itachi, um, where it's just really weird. Like, after, even though he's killed, like, a bunch of people, he slaughtered his entire clan, He like, he's still, he's a murderer, he's still killed a lot of people, he killed a lot of the, the Jinjuriki, like, he helped kill them uh they still fucking paint him as a hero and it's like i don't know like that just that just seems i don't know that just seems off to me like it doesn't seem right do you um, think he sees himself as a hero though i don't think he sees himself i don't as think a he hero. sees himself that way but at like, all like naruto sees him as a fucking hero like, when the main character of the story sees you as a hero, you know, you're a fucking hero, okay? He's literally the hero of the leaf, and he's calling this guy. He, he, he literally says something like, you've done enough for the village. I mean... You know what I mean? Like, you've done it. You've, you've helped the village enough. Yeah, he You don't murdered, have to keep fucking helping us. He killed... He helped to kill a lot of the Jinchuriki, but I thought all of Itachi... Itachi revolved around his little brother and basically helping sasuke well firstly keeping sasuke safe keeping that sasuke was number safe. one yeah because he knew donzo whether he wanted it or not would go after would him. kill all of the uchiha so he basically said okay i'll do it but uh you can't you can't touch sasuke i'll never kill him yeah but even then it's like his his selfishness kind of get kind of get like gets in the way because, like, he does all this shit to, in like, helps the, 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 the Akatsuki, and it's literally all to protect his fucking little brother. Like, he doesn't give a shit about, like, the Lee Village itself, you know no, what I mean? No, he does. I mean, he, he does, but he... He wants to protect the Leaf Village. He yeah, cares he more, he cares more about Sasuke than he does literally anything else. And, like, that's fine. Um, I just don't like the way how he's painted as a fucking hero for it. You know I don't what I mean? know. I mean, I think at the end of the day, though, I still think he's really cool. Like, I, I think he's awesome. He has a lot of character. Like, he has a lot of depth. And it, also, he's too fucking smart. He's too fucking smart. The whole shit where he, he, he put Shisui's eye in Naruto, and then that was supposed to go off against Sasuke to make him. Uh, protect not the protect leaf the leaf village. village but then it it, it, it happened, went off against it himself it went off against himself and then it's like what the fuck like <laughs> are you kidding <laughs> get the fuck out of here but itachi i mean he is a genius that was his whole he thing he is but like they make him like he's borderline shikamaru level genius he and, is like, he is and, like, about as smart as shikamaru yeah but like then it's like what makes shikamaru special then if you have itachi you know what i mean like, <laughs> well the thing about itachi is i mean he he is still a hero i mean he did a lot of stuff for the, but he was always yeah, in but, that was always in service of the leaf village yeah yeah he kind of yeah well not the whole killing the other jinjuriki but yeah yeah we well he had i mean that's part of his cover that's yeah, part I know. of what he had to do as a ninja i know i know i just I, it's just like but that's why they're treating him like a hero exactly 
That's just, what makes his character so good. It just rubs me the wrong way how they do it. You know what I mean? And I, like I said, again, I still think he's so fucking cool. He has a lot of cool things about him. I think his um, depth and impact on the series his, his, oh put God. him in yes easily. I don't... I, I, his his thing where he, he like he's about to die and he does the for for uh the forehead tap to Sasuke and like that's the I like cause he he always did it for like I'm sorry and then like when he's dying he does it and then the fucking his fingers slide down Sasuke like that shot composition fucking ugh, ugh, Phenomenal. it makes me cry man it's like gets it gets me an emotional at an emotional place i'm like oh oh sasuke oh itachi you need to put this man in yes if itachi's not going in yes who the fuck is going in yes itachi is one of the he's got to be one of the best characters in the entire series there's no way he's not uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah you know what fine I don't think he would be in, like, my top five characters. He might... He, he, uh, yeah, he's in my top ten. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no. Look, yeah, guys, I Itachi can. is one of the most layered and multifaceted characters. And he's the one of the most interesting characters in the entire series. Yeah. He's... He's, I mean, he's, everybody fucking loves Itachi. He's a legend. Yeah, everybody and it's a, And it's understandable. It's one of the rare things where everybody loves something. Dude. And it is so worthy of all the love. <laughs> do you remember, 100. do you remember the, the thing, like, I forget what it was. It was like, some, after Itachi died, literally some kid killed himself because Itachi was his favorite character. That's fucked up. Dude, that is fucked up. That's fucked a up. A character that's so popular. And love that, like, it yeah. literally affects... But that's how you know he's a great character. Yeah. Well, not to use somebody's yeah, death not as to a prop. Use, yeah, as a, yeah, but, like, jeez, man. But that's like, that's it, almost it just, too much. It just goes to show how much he affected people. Like, yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's, yeah. Wild. Wild. Um, Jiraiya. <sighs> Jiraiya's isn't hella good. I think Jiraiya's hella good. I don't think, like, he's super, like, anything special to write home about, but, like, he's solid still. I don't know. I'm kind of borderline and close to easy. Jiraiya's pretty, pretty awesome. I just don't think he does enough. You know what I mean? He does so much, though. His he, fight against you Kane think is he some does... of the most insane stuff. Yeah, but that was one fight, and, like, you, like, But it was so impactful. Everybody's, like, I mean, yes, but, like, but that's why he's still hella good. Like, um, he, he... He, he, he just, I don't know, he just doesn't do a lot, like a ton, a ton, you know what I mean? Like, everybody says, like, oh, Jiraiya's awesome, but, like, what did Jiraiya do? He trained Naruto, like, yes, okay, fine. Um, we don't really get to see him, like, be, like, a really good father figure to Naruto, though. That's, that's, like, the one thing I'm missing from Jiraiya. But that's part of his character, is that he was not a good father figure. And it's something that he regrets. But at the same time, Naruto, like... It, in Shippuden, after he dies, they really play up the fact that he was a great father figure to Naruto. So, like, that, 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 that's, you know, that's mixed messaging there. Then I, you know, what, you know what I mean? Like, well, no, it's not mixed messaging. He, what, he played a role as a father figure to Naruto after, but I think, like, he regretted that he wasn't there for him the entire time, you know? And he sort of, what, like, from birth? I mean, yeah, to be honest, he's his godfather. I mean, yeah, but like... <sighs> and besides that, he's a great sort of look into the future for Naruto. He's a great sort of mirror or like a foil where he's like, look, Sasuke is gone. There's no there's no getting him back. I've literally done this before. You're not... You, he's never coming back to the Leaf Village. Yeah, but at the same time... <sighs> There are just some things about Jiraiya that I'm like, Naruto, like, just Naruto is better, you know what I mean? Like, of course, Naruto is a better Jiraiya, and, like, that's the point. Um, but even overall, like, I just don't think he does enough to really solidify, like, his place in Close to Easy or a Yes. Like, again, he's still really good, and he has a lot of good moments with Naruto, um, but, like... There are just times where, like, when they're in the training arc, where they're going to get Tsunade, he just, like, fucks off sometimes to do other shit. Um, yeah, but that's another thing he does, is he's 
he's going after the Akatsuki. That was his whole thing before he died. Was gathering information. No, on I'm the talking Akatsuki. about when they're going on, when they're tracking down Tsunade. I think he was still doing that during that mission. He was looking for Tsunade, but he was also. I mean, yeah, but he was also just fucking off to do other things that like fucking perv on women. Like that's cool. Like that's fine. That's just a thing that he does. But like that's just funny though. That's just a gag. Yeah. Although, do you remember when Kisame literally shit himself because Jiraiya was coming? He yeah. Was like. Yeah, we can't handle it. Because Jiraiya was coming, and even Itachi was like, yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather not. Like, I'd rather not deal with this right now. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, but here's the thing. Like, when I think of what Jiraiya, like, Jiraiya's done more than Daedara has. Even though I like Daedara. I love Daedara, actually, Uh, but uh, I feel like he's definitely close to But, like, I think Daedara is more consistently written, and he, you know what I mean? He's in it for a shorter time, though. It's easier to write a character. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just feel weird putting Jiraiya and, like, Asuma on the same level. I feel like Jiraiya's better than that. <sighs> yeah, fine. Yeah, fine. I, I, yeah, sure. Uh, Jugo, irrelevant. Ugh, I don't care. I don't care. Um, he, doesn't, he doesn't do that much. He doesn't do anything, actually. In fact, you know, I'm attempted to put him in its eye and then move Karin and Suigetsu in irrelevant <laughs> because they're just annoyingly bad. They're just annoying. Well, just at least Karen... Jugo is so inoffensively boring that he doesn't do anything. <laughs> just throw like... Karen in the trash. You're I mean, right. Who would oppose? You're right. Who's Dead gonna oppose trash. you on that? Fuck them. Um, Karen... actually, I used to like Suigetsu, uh, and he just became super fucking annoying. Fuck him, and then he's irrelevant. I um, just don't care about Suzu. Yeah, so. no. Who gives a shit about these guys? The worst possible characters in Taka. The like they could have introduced the worst. Um, I don't know how they got that so wrong. I don't. I don't know. I don't get. I just. Ah, uh, uh, I don't care. Oh well. Um, Kabuto. Kabuto. I actually really like Kabuto. I, I think like he's hella good. Oh yeah. Oh. I like him more in the like at the end of the war arc. He's really consistently written too. I like him because he sort of evolves from Orochimaru's henchman to like literally waging war on the entire and he's it's yeah. not like he's got he I doesn't think he's have any easy, honestly. He doesn't have any interesting like Keke Genkai. He doesn't have he's just pretty normal. Yeah. But he's literally like Hey, I'm gonna resurrect Madara Yoshiha yeah, and, and destroy you. Like his whole his whole arc as a character is is th- this guy who you know was an orphan and they took him to like and they made him an Anbu to to be like to have no uh, to no back to have no background to have no identity and his character arc is trying oh. to find an identity. Oh, I hate that he became a good guy though. Can I just say I hate that he got I, that I, happened to him. I hate the fact that I hate the way it happened to him. I don't hate the fact that he became a good guy. I do hate that. I think that shouldn't have happened. I hate I hate the fact that he gets put in the Izanami. That's what it is. Yeah, Izanami. another horseshit ability that the fucking stupid... total horseshit. Oh my god! I hate god. the talk no jutsu. Oh my god! He should not god. have. Been... He should not have... Um... That wasn't even talk no jutsu, though! That was just fucking Itachi being the coolest, smartest guy of all time. That's one of... Oh. Yeah, because he had a bullshit Izanami power. Yeah, I mean... That's that, that, I, that's why I hate it. That's why I hate it. That's why Kabuto is for me and hella good, because I'm just like... God, it, I, it's good, and then it's like, but I oh, like, he's a good guy. But I still uh, like the, I still like the fact that he becomes a good guy. Not just not the like, if it was done differently, if if that specific thing was done differently, I would like Kabuto. Like, I would love Kabuto, and I do love Kabuto. But like, I don't know. Like, yeah, it's just bullshit. Like, that's just bullshit. I don't know. Oh, oh. No, I think he's fine. I really think he's fine. I don't think that ruins it. Uh, that hurt him for me. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think it ruins it though, because he's 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 like consistent through like the entirety of part one. No, he's good in part one and most of look. Yeah, most. Of I like Kabuto, too. Yeah. but I just hate that that happened to him. Yeah. Well, that's that's unfortunate. Um, kind of the same with Obuto, but God, Obuto he is but... just dead ass trash. Yeah, just. Let's not. I mean, I don't want to talk about Kaguya. It's not. I don't care. It's I not really the Kaguya. Care. She's just mindless, and that 
can work, but it's not... As a plot device and character, gross. It's just like, what was the point? What was the point when of it? When you go into space, you know you fucked up <laughs> as a series. That's just a universal rule. I just, I don't, I don't want to talk about her. I just don't, I don't have anything to say. She's just, she's just bad. Um, Kakashi. Uh, what, what do you think? What do you think first? Because I think my, uh, honestly, I think it's controversial. Oh, go okay. Ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say yes. Oh, really? I love Kakashi. I was going to put him in hella good. Okay. <laughs> um, but we can put him, we can compromise and put him in close each. I just don't think Kakashi, like, Kakashi has all these, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what it is about him, but, like, there's just, like, not a lot to him. That's so I can't. I couldn't like, disagree. Like he more. plays, he plays an important role through like most of the uh, most of the story, but like he doesn't really have an arc all that much. There, there's not a lot that like he grows from throughout the series. Like Kakashi Gaiden, that's cool. Um, well, his arc kind of happened before when he. Yeah, I know. But he that's was what a I mean. child soldier whose best friend was killed, as far as he knew, and then he literally had to kill his other teammate. And then, Obito comes back, and he's like, uh, he's like, oh, oh, you're the one who's behind all this. And then it's an amazing clash. That's, I mean, the dichotomy... They do have a really dope fight. That's the, the best fight in the series. The dichotomy Actually, was, between, was it by Naruto and Sasuke? Yeah. Dude, right? The dichotomy between Kakashi and Obito. Again, Obito is sort of like a foil to Naruto because well, he's yeah, kind of—he's literally Naruto except evil. Like, like he's dopey it. and he's—he's kind of useless compared to his teammate. But then, like, but then they confront each other again, and Kakashi's like, "I, I don't want like, the like I, I'm sorry you died," or he sacrifices himself. Yeah, and then it's just like. I just love Obito, and I love Kakashi. That's think, a hot take, though. I think... People hate Obito. I love Obito. I love Obito, too. He's Obito's top five. Um, yeah, Obito's a beast. Uh, yeah, I just, like... Throughout most... Of, like, yeah, you have stuff at the end of the war. Or not at the end of the war, but, like, at the end of the series in the war with Kakashi. That's, like, that's solid. Like, that's good. But, like, throughout most of the series, he's just kind of there... He doesn't really, like, he has some stuff with Sasuke um, being his mentor, but, like, I don't, I don't know, like, there's, no, there's, there are no really big moments with Kakashi that, like, put me over the top, you know what I mean? That put me over the top into yes. I don't, I don't have anything with him. Um, he dies against pain, but he dies really poorly. He just dies of chakra exhaustion. That's, okay. That's, uh. But to be fair, I mean, like, they shouldn't have killed him with chakra exhaustion, but that's not really his fault. That's it's not, like, but, like, it's still... Also, awesome that he written. was going toe-to-toe with the diva path. And the... Kind uh, of. And the Naraka path. Is that he, the machine one? I think so. Those he, are I the mean, two strongest He paths. had help, though. Yeah, from fucking Choji. And Choji's dad. Oh, boy, well. And the rest of his fucking guy, like, those guys. Oh, but it's it's the Tendo o- Pain. What are they the doing to him? clan, they didn't do anything to him, actually. Dude, they you didn't... said they go. he goes toe-to-toe, but he doesn't even put a scratch on him, like. Yeah, no, he blows up one of the paths, and then it gets resurrected by the, uh, I don't know which one resurrects them. Yeah, I don't remember either, but that. I think he tr- he hit him, he almost hit him with the lightning blade. But then one of the the machine path took it for the Tendo path. I don't actually think that one comes back, does it? The machine I think it one? does, yeah. He brings back all six for Naruto. I remember. Oh, I thought there was one missing. Um, that makes sense though, yeah. Um, that was awesome. I except, just, I, I mean, just people are just like, oh yeah, Kakashi's so cool. He's you know he's, he's awesome. He has, but it's like yeah, he's fine. He's yeah, yeah, he's okay. I I don't know. I don't know what it is about him that just doesn't like get me you know what i mean although at the end of the series i mean there's a lot of bullshit with uh yeah i can use the perfect susan i can use the perfect su- yeah i don't know Obito, how he, I, don't know. Me, uh, I don't know how, energy, how did um, he do that 
how the fuck did he it, do that? It shouldn't. It just shouldn't have happened. I mean, because they were in just another dimension or something like that. Who knows, dude? I don't. I don't. Bullshit. Um, Kakazu, he is I. Yeah, he's I. He's I. I don't really care. Um, doesn't really have any narrative purposes. He's just kind of there and gets beat by Naruto. Like that's it. He's a cool power. Yeah, he's got um, an interesting power. Survived a fight with Hashirama, apparently. Yeah, I guess. Somehow. Somehow. Because he's basically immortal. Yeah. That's how. He has seven hearts, but I think Hashirama has a billion Buddha fists. I think he only has four. Did you see all the fists on that fucking statue? <laughs> I don't I, think oh, I Kakuzu's saw doing anything to that. Um, Konkuro, he's alright. I honestly think he's irrelevant. Really? You think Konkuro's irrelevant? <laughs> I mean, what does he do? He fights Satsuri and gets bodied by just one puppet. <laughs> he doesn't do anything. Um, he doesn't really serve any purpose. He's, I, I mean, outside of like being Gara's brother, he doesn't really serve any purpose. Yeah, he doesn't really do anything. He like beats up Gara and then he, he just does gets this, destroyed. He, he, he beats like I think puppets are really dope. I, he beats. Um, yeah, puppets are cool. But then you see Sasori and you're like, he beats he beats Sakon and Yukon. That's cool. How he did that with the fucking where he traps them and then sticks the knife arms and legs and head into the fucking puppet thing. So he did one thing. But it's cool. I don't know, man. Choji did one thing and it was cool. Fuck. Like <laughs> Choji did Choji did a Conqueror did one thing. Choji did a few things. Choji did one thing and it was beat Jerobo. Dude, you literally just talked about how he helped fight. No. I Devo talked about Pain. how he was there and they didn't do anything. They were just there. He had they help. They killed a path. Well, they didn't. He got no, resurrected. Yeah, he got resurrected, and also that was I mean, his, I'm pretty sure that was his dad who did it, not Choji. Choji think, was just there. I think they restrained him together in Kakashi. I don't remember. Blasted I think, him. I don't think Kagura was irrelevant though, dude. Do you really think Kagura's on the same level as Jugo? I mean, I think he's on the same level as Chio, to be honest. <laughs> Jugo. Uh, I mean, I just don't care about Jugo whatsoever. Uh, so it really. He, to me, yeah, he's on the I same level. I just think he just, people. I don't know. I don't know. I think Kagura does stuff at least. Like, he has a couple cool fights. Um, eh. Uh, that's it, though. Like, I don't think he's spectacular, but he's I. You know, he's Yeah, no, he's I. nobody's saying Kagura's spectacular. No, no one is, no. That, that would be a hot take. Um, here's a hot take. Kimimaro is dead ass trash for me. Wow. I hate Kimimaro. I was just going to say he's I. He's. Oh, no. But dude, like. Fuck damn. Kimimaro. I fucking hate Kimimaro. I feel like he's not trash though. His any, bone powers anything, are awesome. If anything. Okay. He has an okay Keke Genkai. That's cool. Like, okay. Whatever. You're calling a field of bones okay? That's fucking awesome. No. Okay. Yeah. He that's cool. He makes an entire yeah, thing of okay, bones. Yeah. Okay. It's cool. Whatever. Kimimaro as a character fucking sucks. If anything, I'll put him in irrelevant. But, like, he, he's not higher than this. Yeah, like, he's pretty irrelevant. Like, who fucking gives a shit about Kimimaro? Fuck this guy. Wish they did more to They pull him. out the fucking degenerative disease card on him. <laughs> They're like, yeah, he's dying or whatever. Who gives a fuck? And then he's just there. So, like, to stop Naruto from getting Sasuke immediately. And then Rock Lee shows up and fights him. And, like, that fight is, like, whatever. And then Garo shows up and it's, like... He somehow overpowers Gara, and it's like, are you fucking kidding? Gara, the guy who literally has Shukaku, the guy who literally can turn into a giant fucking raccoon guy and decimate an entire village, possibly? I mean, Kimimaro, that was the plan! Kimimaro effortlessly dealt with the entire Sound 4. I mean, I don't think it's a stretch to say that he could fight Gara. Do you think Gara is taking on all of the Sound 4 at yes. once? At once? Dude, Gara is one of, if not the strongest, uh, like, behind, like, Naruto, I guess, because Naruto beat him. But What like, is he doing against Hayuya's Genjutsu? You don't think he, he has some horse shit to plug his, sand, or his ears with sand he's or something like that? He's not a like perfect like... Jinchuriki. No, he's not gonna <laughs> plug his fucking ears with sand. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you don't think he has shit like that, dude? Fuck. What is Kimimaru gonna do against it? Create a fucking giant field of bones! <laughs> what do you mean? What's he gonna do? 
He can make as many sand tsunamis as he want. If I could just turn it all into bones and then just move around and through the bones. Dude, Gara literally turns that entire field of dirt into sand. And, and guess then, how much it does to And Kimimaro. then he almost loses to Kimimaro. Kimimaro just dies. That's it. That's fucking retarded. I hate Kimimaro. I feel like you're just... He a... serves no purpose. He ser What is Kimimaro's narrative purpose? To basically stall naruto i guess uh yeah that's it that's lame and stupid and i hate it it's just like they were just like hey we have this idea uh, kishiro was like i have this idea for a cool power let's throw it in this one fight and then never make it relevant ever again he's irrelevant i hate him fuck fuck kimimaro i wish i wish they had done more with him but Whatever. they gave him the good old degenerative Whatever. kisame he's hella good yeah, Kisame's a beast. I think we talked about enough about Kisame Shark already. Man. Yeah, he's cool. Um, he has cool fights with Guy. He has a he has a really interesting relationship with Itachi. Dude, um, he took on. Also, he's the funny guy in the Akatsuki. Is he? I thought he's that like. Was... Oh no no he's not the funny guy but he's like yeah Toby I like you you're a funny guy. <laughs> I ran around here so not funny. Yeah, he's cool. Also literally he's chill man a 30 yeah they, him and itachi just like went to go get tea when they came to the leaf village you remember yeah, that they yeah they were fuck. fucking chill they were like yeah i mean what are you gonna do to us nothing dude asuma <laughs> kurenai and kakashi show up and they're like yeah whatever <laughs> <laughs> whatever whatever kurenai tried to use genjutsu shit. on itachi uchiha <laughs> <laughs> Who thought that would be a good idea? Well, we'll get to fucking Kurenai in like two seconds. Uh, Conan. She kind of gets overshadowed by pain. She kind of gets overshadowed by pain, and then her fight with Obito is like, whatever. That, what? That was awesome. Dude. 600 billion paper bobs. Dude. <laughs> Who cares? Are you serious? That was Who gives awesome. This shit about paper bobs, dude. Six billion paper bobs. <laughs> get the fuck, get the fuck out of here. She's awesome. There's no fucking way you have that many dude, paper bobs. The fact that she actually made Obito do anything is ridiculous, and she's kind of awesome. Like her part in the, her part in the story of Pain and Yahiko, is kind of interesting. What I really like do? how... I don't remember what she does at all. Well, it was sort of like... I think Conan is the most irrelevant Akatsuki member. I really do. I think Kakuzu is more irrelevant than her, to be honest. <sighs> Hell, I think... I mean, Zetsu is more irrelevant than her. I fucking hate Zetsu. I, I, we'll get to Zetsu last, but like... <sighs> at the very oh. least, I think Conan's alright. <sighs> yeah... Yeah, she's I, I guess. Because I'm not really comfortable putting her on the same level as Jugo. Uh, Jugo. Yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah. No, um, no. The nine-tailed fox. Kudama, the QB. I think Kurama's hella good. Um, yeah, he's interesting. I just think all of his, like, stuff comes at the very, very end of the series, and, like, you don't really get, like, a relationship with him and Naruto, like, a lot until the end. Um... But even then, like, I still like him. Are we just gonna have a yes full of Uchiha? Uh, only, like, three. <laughs> <laughs> or no, four? <laughs> Maybe um, we can whittle that down. Um, yeah. Sorry, we were talking about someone really important, the Nine Tails. Yeah, we were talking about Kurama. He's cool. He's based off of Kurama from uh, from Yu Yu Hakusho. That's where he gets his name. That's yeah, cool. No. I mean, Kurama's interesting. He has an interesting dynamic with Naruto throughout, and yeah. eventually becomes friends with him, and it's yeah. it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's neat. I mean, I don't really yeah. Not too He's much just solid. Not too much to it, but I'm not. I mean, he shouldn't be on the same level as Kankuro. Yeah. No. Choji. <laughs> anyway, Kurai. Uh, irrelevant irrelevant tried to use genjutsu on itachi uchiha <laughs> you know the man who literally was a genjutsu god at maybe 12 years old her she has a kid with azuma but he dies before his her kid's hot though if the most relevant thing you do is have a kid with a better character yeah that's sad <laughs> sakura i feel <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh 
Oh, man, that really got me. <laughs> um, I hope there aren't too many Sakura fans in your audience. Who fucking cares? Um, That's true. I don't care. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, she's, she just does nothing. She has a kid. That's it. Speaking of things who had a people uh, who had a kid, who had a and kid then and then did, did nothing. nothing. Uh, Kushina. <laughs> if anything, Kushina has more of a personality than Kur and I. She she doesn't do anything. No, she doesn't do anything. Come on, she's she definitely has, irrelevant. She has like they call her the fucking hot pepper habanero or whatever. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Are you serious? <laughs> Kur and I does nothing. Yeah, there is no she... way she is on the same level as Conan. But that's why she's it. No, she I think... done. No, okay, no. time out. Let me make a case. Jesus, um, she she's you know she's she's really. Uh... <laughs> I don't know, man. Like she, she has a personality. She has more of a personality than any other. If you're biased because she's hot, then just say I'm that. I'm not. I'm not but biased because she's, she's hot. Because then Karen would be somewhere on this list. Um... <laughs> Uh, or and Karin, Eno. Eno would be somewhere on this fucking You think hot? Yeah, she's cute. I don't think she's one of the hottest girls, but, like, she's okay. She's pretty to look at. Um, no, but, like, I think Kushina legitimately has, like, you know, like, like a, a personality and, like, she's feisty and quirky, and I like quirky girls. They never, so, like, they barely ever show that in the main series. What are you talking about? There's, there's, there's the fucking whole arc where she talks to Naruto and then she explains like how she and Minato met, and like that's what happens just, with the Nine Tails where she dies. Uh, like that's just background. Yeah, but that's I mean, still she part does of the nothing. main series. No, she doesn't do anything in the series besides take the chains off of the Nine Tails or whatever, like the restrictions, to, so Naruto can use the power more. I don't know how fucking she did all that, but like. Or how Minato set it up to be like that, but like that's what she did. Okay, that's all she does. All right, just leave her. Just leave her. <laughs> Whatever. I think she's fine. I just realized I don't. I don't know if I want to put her on the same level as also Shio. She's super hot. Uh, oh, Madara Uchiha God. is a close to easy. This is me Madara's whittling awesome. it down. Yeah, Madara. Um, I definitely think he's close to easy. The only thing that. Madara fails at is just him getting yanked at the very end. Like, just why? Why did that happen? This guy has a presence throughout the entire series. You get introduced to him. He crushes an entire division like it's the easiest thing he's done in his entire life. Yeah. Like, he's brushing his teeth. <laughs> like, <laughs> he fought Hashirama, the guy who can literally summon a giant buddha statue with 50 billion fists. he was able to control the nine tails and fucking com use the perfect susano with it or whatever the fuck like give it susano armor he fuck he fights the five kage and basically wipes the floor with him he be he easy he's he fucking shoots like it's like he's like he's like he's <laughs> he fucking fucking shoots them with the um the fucking arrow thing, right? Like, he can do the arrows, right? Dude, he just made, like, he just, like 20 wood clones, and then he had yeah, he them just, like, all use the Susano. He just, like, fucking decimates them with the fucking, with, with the perfect Susano. Like, For, it's, oh. To just understand how insane that is, I mean, Tsunade barely cracked one Susano with her strongest punch. Yeah. And there were 20 of them. <laughs> so, okay. So, get fucked. Um, and also, Madara is really interesting. I think he, like, the way he interacted with Obito, yeah. the way he sort of, the what what he wanted to do. Yeah, he, he really rep he represents, like, the, the duality of man in... He <laughs> <laughs> really represents the duality of man. You know, he, he really represents, like, no, he's just fucking cool, man. Um, he's got a, he's got the... No, no, man. he's interesting. Uh... Uh, By the way, he's so strong, he literally didn't even use his Mangekyo power. Yeah. He literally didn't yeah, even have to. I remember we were talking about that. He, we, Yeah, we have no fucking idea what his Mangekyo power is. Because um, he didn't... I mean, he, he didn't, didn't need it, apparently. Yeah, he didn't fucking need it. Uh, he slaps a paper bomb on some dude and throws him in a fucking group of guys. Yeah, above. That's, the, that's, the, most, that's the most hilarious part of Naruto. Madara's basic bitch fire jutsu 
had to be canceled out by an entire platoon of elite water users. <laughs> That's how insane this guy is. Uh, yeah, Ridiculous. He's, he's cool. Um, I can't believe Hashirama beat that guy. What the? F- I just don't think. Well, he didn't when he when they both came back. No, because I mean, yeah, he got bodied. But... Yeah. Um, Minato. And now I'm tempted to put Minato in I because he doesn't really do anything. He also does nothing. Uh, but and like, fact- he's so fucking cool, so like... No! He- <laughs> oh my fucking god, you idiot. <laughs> Minato does not belong in close to Yeezy. He's so cool, look at him! That's retarded. <laughs> he's just a flying rush in level two. No, that that's fucking retarded. decimates Obito. No. He might be hella good because he does have an impact on the series. He's important. Uh, the fourth Hokage is important. But he's so cool. But he, but he's as a so character, he just cool. doesn't. He just doesn't. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't really do anything. Uh, or at least he doesn't do that much. He's also another type of character who's like a super genius. I like um, how he interacted with Team obito or team minato yeah kakashi and rena yeah and obito yeah, yeah, yeah i like that he was the one who instructed kakashi yeah they were they, that was cool that was a little cool dynamic that they had but also uh also flee on site i like <laughs> i like the uh <laughs> flee on site just got that um i like the uh i like where he he, he him and naruto have their little heart to heart it when he comes back um, for that, like, those two fucking scenes. Um, Naruto literally punches him in the face. He's like, why did you leave me? You know, like, ah, uh, how could you, how could you leave the nine tails and your own kid? Yeah, that makes what me the... feel sympathy for Itachi, actually. <laughs> how he puts his brother above, like, the leaf village. Yeah. Like, now I can see the other side of that, where Naruto was like, how could you put the leaf village over your own fucking son? Yeah. You well, fucking ruined my life. Well, that, and also, <laughs> they didn't have another ginger key there but like yeah no you know, that's also just they ha- he didn't really have any other options um well he could have i mean not put it in his son yeah that would have been a start guess. i also don't know how he sealed like half of kerma in well that's Naruto. bullshit that's yeah, actually that's, bullshit that, so I let's just ignore get how that. that and then he has the other half somehow no he doesn't that but... was no my god that's so <laughs> stupid <laughs> I have the yang hat. But then he say, like he does all that in like fourteen seconds while he's dying, um, and it's like, uh, okay, no. all right, mm, no, he's cool though. That was dumb. That he's was super actually cool. Dumb. Also, he's hot. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Minato is a handsome man. If they had just made him like a badass Hokage without like be like he shouldn't have had <clears throat> the other half. That's that's so dumb <laughs> like how mind-bendingly stupid was that all right the mizukage sorry uh, we need to get on to Mi- important topics yeah mizukage definitely important okay naruto I'm surprised she didn't go straight to the trash <laughs> naruto naruto's a fucking yes naruto's awesome he's at the fucking uh, the series is named after him starlet itachi galloway we're making room for fucking naruto the series is named if he wasn't a good character I mean, the series would fall apart. Yeah, if he wasn't a good character, the series would be named, like, Sasuke or something. I don't know. It's just food for thought. Fucking <laughs> god damn it. No, Naruto's so cool, man. He's so... He's, he's, he's so well-written. Like, I mean, there are a couple times where I'm like, it stumbles, and, like, there are decisions where I'm like, why did they do that? I don't really know. But, like, I don't know. He he he, he just means a lot. He just means a lot to me. He's, he's fucking Naruto, man. <laughs> Uh, excuse me. Um, I don't think we have to say that much about Naruto. I, I, he kind of speaks for himself. Yeah, I really don't think we have to say anything about him. Like uh, his his swing. Although we could talk about the swing for like twenty minutes. I really. <laughs> <laughs> what like the show? No, no. But like, I really wish they hadn't made him the incarnation of Ashura, because that literally just makes him Jesus. <laughs> I don't want him to be Jesus. <laughs> Like, I don't know. I think that was fine. No. I, didn't, I didn't really, like, it was just, it was like a bullshit power-up, but, like... No, the power-up's fine. If the Sage of Six Paths come back and says, yeah, we can't, this can't happen. So, you guys are the strongest <laughs> yeah, people. this can't happen. You guys so are the strongest it. people in the world. You have to stop them. 
here's a part. Like, if it was some kind of... I mean, if Hagoromo's strong enough to summon himself back to the world, despite the fact that he's dead, which, then... Which we don't even know if he's, like, dead or if he's just, like, in another dimension. That's what it is. Like, If he was powerful enough to summon himself, he could have had a seal yeah. that broke and like, was, like, appeared to him. But yeah, I don't know. I don't who, think you who need... Who knows? I don't think you need Intranashiro, but that's just... That doesn't diminish Naruto. That's just no. my gripes with the end. Yeah. Which, the end of Naruto just makes some really weird decisions. I don't really get it, but it's fine. That's writing um, manga for you. Shittiest but, deadlines yeah, in the world. Yeah, but, like, even... But even then, the end of Naruto is really strong also. It just makes a lot of weird decisions. Like, the end of... The, the final fight of Naruto with Naruto and Sasuke is... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Unbelievably good. Unbelievable. It's fucking awesome. Um, especially in the anime. Um, Neji. Neji. Should have died during Sasuke. Neji should have so. died during Sasuke. But he made up for it because he actually died. <laughs> um, Neji's hella good. Yeah, he's pretty awesome. Yeah, I think his arc as a character is solid, you know. And then he did nothing during the second part of the series. But yeah, whatever. That, that, but that's like, that's the unfortunate part. That's just... <sighs> that's just dragging it out. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't diminish Neji. He's pretty cool. Oh, uh, dude, his fight with Kitomaru is one of the best fights in part one. One of the best fights in the entire series, honestly. I still think about that fight. That fight is awesome. I like the fight between him and Hinata better, honestly. Really? I mean, I thought... Like, there was less kinetic energy, but I thought there were more stakes in that fight than anything else. Um... Like, I thought it was just <laughs> awesome for both well, characters. Well, I think... I think... Well, on the top... Uh, on the side of, like, the fight with Kitomaru, it's also just, like, a really... T outside of it being, like, a really important fight for Neji's character arc, it's also just a really technically impressive fight. Like, their p powers play off of each other really well, I think. How is it important for Neji's character arc? Well, it's because he's putting his faith in in Naruto, and, like, he's like, yeah, Naruto, if you're... If anybody can, you know, bring back Sasuke, it's you. You have better eyes than mine. Um, like, that's That's a good line. Yeah, that's literally what he says, and Although, it was the coolest thing ever of all time. The fight um, between Neji and Naruto, too, is... I mean, the tension there yeah. was unbelievable. Yeah. The Hugo Prodigy versus this fuck-up uh, loser kid. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. That was legendary. And also, let me let's get this out of the way. The whole shit with fate is not ruined. Like, the, the shit where it's, like, later, like, Naruto's a prophecy child or whatever is not ruined at all. Like, the, Neji's arc is not ruined at all by this. At all. Well, they shouldn't have made him a um, prophecy child, though. I mean, yeah, whether or not, like, that's a thing. Like, you want to do that or not. Like, yeah. But Neji is not ruined at all. Because they didn't... I mean, they didn't Neji's, know at the time. No, not even that. Neji's whole thing was that you can't fight outside of what your destiny is and he he was like the hypocrisy in that is that he was trying to so like that's why naruto was like yes you can like you can do whatever you want um and you're stronger than me you're not a fuck up yeah he like, literally says that yeah though. That's such a wonderful moment. He's exactly, like, you're like, not a failure like me. Yeah, and you unlike me, you're that. not a failure. So, like... Oh, that man. was epic. And Neji's just lying on the ground. He's like, I'm yeah. fucked. Yeah. Like, this kid just destroyed me. Exactly. And, that, and, and that's why the Kitomaru fight is so important to him. Because it's like, yes, I'm putting my faith in Naruto. He's, you know, he's right. He can bring back Sasuke. He's, you know, he's the most important to the mission. And then, like, at the very... Oh, dude, the cinematography in that fight where it's like the the sunlight through the trees and he's like laying there with a fucking huge gash in his shoulder and um yeah, and really it's like one. yeah and like his headband is off and it has he has the mark on his ah oh, and he's like dying he should have died but like even still that's so fucking impactful i still think about it man love you neji oh man yeah you're right dude Neji's should awesome. we move neji to close to easy he just doesn't do, like, super, like, a ton after that, besides die again. If he died in the original, he yeah. would be close to easy. Yeah. I think the problem is that they stretch it out. That's the biggest problem with yeah, his Yeah, but character. even then, his, his death means something in the war arc. You know what I mean? I mean, uh, It does mean something. But <sighs> so much less. It mean uh well that's debatable but 
Yeah, no, I, I guess he's fine. Yeah. I just think we have a lot to talk about with Neji, you know what I mean? Like, you, you can yeah, say a lot no, about him. Neji's cool. Unlike... He has a lot of good moments. I don't know. Unlike Kurama or Minato, like... I, that's true. I think you could say more about Neji than either Maybe of these Maybe he should be in close to easy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? Like... All right, bump him up. Yeah. Uh, let's bump him up. Bump if him up. If you think we're wrong, fuck you. <laughs> I don't have to justify myself to close you. Close to Yeezy. Close to Yeezy himself. Yeah, Neji's awesome. Neji, Whatever. Neji's fucking cool. Neji's a beast. Dude, Neji was my finish. favorite character in part one. He was. Yeah, he's a beast. Also, the Byakugan, before it became literally irrelevant, was like the coolest Yeah, power. where's the Byaku I liked it. I liked it more... <laughs> I liked it more than the Sharingan all, always. Obito. Oh man, we're fucking dude. Obito. Dude, hell yeah. Obito is the hell. Obito yeah. is probably in my opinion, I know you differ, but like even so slightly, Obito to me is the best villain in Naruto. Like he's the best antagonist. He like his his, you know, his relationship with Naruto, his relationship with Itachi, with Madara, like even with Sasuke to a certain extent. Uh, ever, like all the like the, the the dark reflection of naruto being a guy who gave up oh man his for fight with kakashi shit yeah dude i mean for me like i love obito i i for me he just like he doesn't quite reach the levels of pain yeah but I know. obito don't get me wrong obito is yes yeah he is a god who literally this man this man fought Minato when he was 14 years old. <laughs> I, do, I still what think... What the fuck? Okay, I still think the timeline doesn't really make sense with that, but yeah, he was a, he was young. Yeah, there's some questions um, about the timeline. Yeah. Him. But he, when he has the Rinnegan and he's controlling six Biju at once, yeah. he's like, I have six Jinchuriki, yeah. what are you going to do? He literally takes over all of them. Remember? Fuck. He fought Killer B... Naruto, Kakashi, and, and Mike guy, and guy at the same at time. At the same time. And he was like, yeah, you're nothing. <laughs> you're actually nothing to me. Um, yeah, Obito is cool, man. He's so fucking... Oh, he does so much throughout the series. Yeah. He's so important. And he's such a good villain because he's... Yeah. He's... The only thing that I like is just like weird to me is like the twist. You know what I mean? Because they play it as like a... Oh my god. Toby was really Obito? Uh, like i i don't know like it's just like yeah we already fucking knew that guy like we, I'm okay, we we knew that i'm okay with obito turning good but i wish it hadn't happened in the way it did because i think obito was never he was never truly like well that's i don't know i think that's the point though was that i mean naruto is still you know talk no jutsu i get it ha 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 but like I hate talking about jutsu. <laughs> <laughs> like, the whole point is that, you know, Naruto still sees good in him. Like, there's everybody can get a second chance. Um, Obito can have a fucking second chance. He was the same as Naruto. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't think it was done poorly. I think, no, I think it made more sense for Obito than for, like, who was the person? Pain? I, was... I think it made more sense than Pain's. I do think it made more sense than Pain. Even though I really like Pain. I think it made more sense than Madara. Madara should Madara didn't have. get ju talking to Jutsu, though. He, he should just, not have been redeemed, though. He just died. I know. Was he redeemed? Redeemed in massive air... I mean, he killed an entire division's <laughs> worth of people. <laughs> not a lot of redeeming to do yeah, after that. Yeah, I mean, he also put everybody Shit. in the infinite Tsukuyomi. Yeah, like, I mean, Jesus. Well, like, he wasn't really redeemed. It was just kind of like... Like, it was just kind of like him and Hashirama had like cool Hashirama kind of had like a heart to heart at the end of the series, but like he wasn't really redeemed. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was just like yeah, I guess I was an asshole. Blah. He's just kind of like I failed. All right, Hashirama, you win. Fuck you, Hashirama. Yeah, that's it. I Dead. Mean, that's it. They were still fucking best friends like at one point, so. You know they still have massive respect for each other. Anyway, Obito. Well, look, Obito's a <laughs> god. Yeah, he's he is. He's. He's like he's better than Itachi. He's everything I said about Itachi, and like even more layered and interesting than that. Exactly. Except he, I know a lot of people like because like we read. I mean, I don't know about you, but I read Naruto as it was like coming out. So like, I know a lot of people are like, "Why are we getting so fucking hung up on these Rin flashbacks?" But like, it it doesn't really like that because that was shit the time Obito me. was happy. 
That was when he was happy, when he wasn't a child soldier. <laughs> I mean, people like people think he's a pedophile, but yeah, that's no. no, that's just because he, he literally says Rin. he literally says if Kakashi, if you think this what I'm doing is just about Rin, you're a fucking moron. Like that's like, he's just he he. That's not what that whole Rin thing is about. He's not still in love with Rin. Like. I mean, yes, to a certain extent, he loves Rin, but it's more of, like, the idea of her than... He also he also just looks at that as the time in his life when he was actually happy. Yeah. And he didn't have to go around just, like, you know, murdering, murdering people, people to yeah. get... To, like, try and build a world where he could be happy. Yeah. And, like, he what he wanted was a world where everyone could be happy and that there was no more war and no more fighting. And it's just, you know... Yeah, but it was, it, you know, again, it's yeah. a corrupt way it's to a, do it's it. It's a twisted way. It's a of twisted thinking, way yeah. of achieving that. But like, but that's what makes him interesting. That's why. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's why he's interesting. Fuck Obito, you're yeah. so cool. Obito's a god. Uh, this guy. But Anoki's not a god. Sorry. He he had that one kind of okay moment. Particle style. Uh, with stopping the meteor or whatever. Oh yeah. That was okay, but, like, who cares? Particle style is cool. Fucking old-ass man. Um, Orochimaru. How do, you, how do you feel about Orochimaru? But, but I want you to go first. Close to easy. Really? I really like Orochimaru. I, I wouldn't put him close to easy. I'd put him in hella good, but I don't think he's close to easy. You know what I mean? From I, the beginning of Naruto, he's really threatening. Dude. But, like, he has one, no motivation. Like, no, his motivation is... is to become, like, to know every single Jutsu and Yeah, but the what the fuck does that have to do with anything of destroying the Leaf Village? Well, the reason he wanted to destroy the Leaf Village was to get revenge on Hiruzen. Yeah, but why? Because Hiruzen, like, he wanted to... Hiruzen was the only threat left to him, right? Yeah. In his pursuit of, like, every Jutsu. I mean, kind of, except there was still Jiraiya and Tsunade around. But he's strong... And no, the he's Akatsuki. stronger than Jiraiya. And he's stronger than sudade but and they, the akatsuki like he doesn't care about the akatsuki because they're not going to try and stop him the only people who are going to try and stop him are jiraiya the third hokage by the way the third hokage still the strongest of all the kage according to like the show even as an old ass man what the third hokage is not the strongest Dude, of that's all what the they kage. said that's what they get said get the fuck the out of here the strongest hokage get while the he was alive. fuck out of here Dude, look it up I'm not gonna look it up right now. Well, um, we'll do it later, but like, sure, yeah, we'll do dude. it later, maybe if I fucking feel like it. But he attacked the Leaf Village basically to get Heroes and out of the way, and basically to prove, like, yeah, you're you're an old ass man, and I've long I surpassed you a long time ago. Created out of ten, say. I mean, yeah, but was it just to do it? Like, was it just cause? It was because Heroes and like embarrassed, like had humiliated him before. What do you mean humiliated him? He left the village, and then Hiruzen was like, yeah, you're an outlaw, now we have to go after you. But he let he him was go. Doing, he was doing experiments on him, or on people. Like, that was, like, they were like, dude, what the fuck? Like, now we have to kill you or whatever. Or and he let, him, he let him go, though. And Orochimaru was like, yeah, you're gonna regret this, old man. When did he let him go? Was that retcon? I don't think that was retcon. That wasn't in the fight. Like, that wasn't backstory in the fight. I think it was. I remember watching Naruto originally, and it was like, there was a time where Hiruzen had him and was about to kill him, and he let him go. And Orochimaru was like, you're gonna fucking regret this, old man. I don't remember that. Because, no, Hiruzen was constantly thinking all. throughout the fight that he regretted letting him go. I do remember this. That wasn't retconned. Um... Another thing about Orochimaru, I like that he's just like... He's such a twisted, like, he just wants to learn everything. He wants to know everything. Yeah. That's his whole thing. And the only reason he wants immortality is so that he can keep knowing everything. Yeah, okay, so, like, but here's here's the thing that I'm, like, get your fucking feet off the table, goddammit. Um, Bomb? <laughs> um, here's the thing where I'm, like, Orochimaru isn't that good. It's just because, like, once we get into Shippuden... It's like, what does he really do? He, like, he doesn't really do anything. And they still pose him as, like, this this threat that needs to be stopped. And, like, oh, he's the only thing that's keeping us and Sasuke separate. And blah, 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 this and that. And it's like, 
no, not really. He's just kind of there. But then Sasuke's like, yeah, I'm stronger than you. And then he kills him. And then it's like, uh, like what? what else does he do like he's okay in part one but then he's no. so he's so irrelevant in part two that like the only thing that he does later on is like oh i'm a good guy now and then he brings back the fucking hokage like what yeah he shouldn't have become a good guy yeah he but... should he's literally like i just want to see what sasuke is gonna do sasuke is super interesting to me i want to see what he's gonna do so he just follows sasuke around like what the but I think his sheer presence as a villain in part one, and it, like the like the danger you feel any time he shows up, yeah. Kakashi, this guy who, like I said, he's Zabuza, super threatening. Yeah, this guy who killed Zabuza was literally pissing himself when Orochimaru came up to him. <laughs> he was like, "Yeah, look, you're not gonna stop me from getting Sasuke," and Kakashi was like, "I can't fight you. I'll die." <laughs> And Orochimaru was like, right, you are. And he walked away. Uh, yeah, he's fine. I, I just, I don't think he's, like, I don't think he's, a. Uh, I think, like. He's one of the best villains in the series, though. Uh, yeah, but even then, I think Kabuto's more interesting than him. And Kabuto's his fucking last. I don't think Kabuto's more interesting than I think Orochimaru. Kabuto has an actual character arc, and Orochimaru is just kind of there and does things. Orochimaru had a had a character arc, and it was well. It, you could say it took place before. Yeah, then that's he was not with a Jirai character arc. arc. That's just him. That's just previous. Like then, that's just retconned in the story. Like I oh, this like is what happened. He's, a he's like a he's his motivation isn't to rule the world. It's not any of that bullshit. It's I want to know everything. And that's his motivation. Yeah, but the only person whose motivation was to rule the world was fucking pains. No, I mean, kind of Obito and Madara's too. That, they're not They're not motivated by ruling the world. They're motivated by putting the world into a different type of state, but not... They're motivated What's in the changing difference? the they world, still control not the world. ruling the world. Either way, they control the world. I guess, but like... That's kind of... Like, they're doing it for like the benefit... Like, I mean, the perceived benefit of everyone, at least. But so is pain. I mean, Orochimaru no, is a that's selfless not, bastard. That's not his original plan. Pain was was was, the, was controlling the war economy by using the tailed beasts. No, to control it was war. to get rid of war. Because if you control a weapon that's so powerful that nobody can oppose it, nobody will ever fight again. Yeah, but. Their plan was also to sell it to different countries who were waging war against each other. Yeah, until people stop fighting. Also, I don't think they were going to sell it. No, they, they were mercenaries they literally to raise money. Were. They literally were. No, they were they only were mercenaries literally going to raise to money. Sell them. No, no, no. They were only I mean, not mercenaries sell them, to raise but like, money. I guess rent them out or something. I don't know. Like, Payne's <laughs> goal is to get rid of war. It's not to perpetuate war. Yeah, but that's my point. Like, it changed. Because they did there was literally change. there was literally where he's sitting atop the thing and he's like our goal world domination and he's like sitting above the city like I remember that the only thing that changed was Yahiko wanted to do it peacefully and then he got fucking killed by Hanzo mm. and so Pain was like yeah I don't think that's gonna happen I'm just gonna control the entire world okay and make everyone understand. We're not fighting anymore. Yeah, okay, fine. But still, Orochimaru... Damn, let's know. talk about Oro <laughs> Pain. <laughs> it's so not Orochimaru. Yeah, it's not Orochimaru, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think you can say... I don't... There's, like, there's not a lot to say about Orochimaru, I don't think. It's just, he's... I he's, think he's, he's okay. He's, he's fine. He's your presence and, like... Yeah, he's Andrew. really threatening, but he's like past awesome that, there's one. just not a lot to him. He's an awesome villain in part one because he's th he's so threatening, and you and, and like compared to Naruto and Sasuke and stuff, like he's so above the like, he's so far above them that like you like it's like what do you do? You know what I mean? Um, but then like once we get into Shippuden, he's like almost completely irrelevant. You could say almost the same thing about Neji, and Neji's in close to Yeezy. Yeah, but even then, Neji had an impact at the towards the end of Naruto. So did Orochimaru. It would, no, I mean narratively, Orochimaru just <laughs> just brought just brought the Hokage back. We're like, all right, <laughs> you could have had another character do that. I don't know, fucking. 
I don't know who could have done it, but like, so you could just fucking been like, oh yeah, it, it happened. Orochimaru should have done been what Sage Kabuto was at the end of the war arc. He should have been the one to use the Edo Tensei. But that's just that's just me. maybe that would have made more sense. I don't know, or well, made him better. I don't know. We can leave him in hella good. This isn't a villain tier list. Yeah. It's a uh, pain though. Yeah, pain's pain's awesome. Pain's great. Yeah, pain's it. A... Um, he literally identified as God in the Rain Village. <laughs> And his fight with Jiraiya, just Jiraiya so confused trying to figure out what the fuck was happening. <laughs> like, why are there six of them? Why do they all have the Rinnegan? Yeah. I rewatched that fight yesterday and I was like, really? damn, <laughs> this is awesome. Because it's just like, the whole thing about Pain is just, you didn't know what the fuck he was. Like, what is Pain? And then when he- A god. That's literally. What it is. Yeah, everybody just thought he was a god. People just thought he was a god. Nobody knew what he was. Nobody knew what he could do. And then he comes to the Leaf Village. He's like, okay, goodbye. And he <laughs> blows it up. He's like, gone. And then he just sends his pains into the village. The entire, li- by the way. Well, Sakura, he blows up the village last. Let me take this moment to slag off Sakura. <laughs> Sakura, Sakura spent the entire... A pain, entirety of Pain's assault, <laughs> sulking and crying for Naruto to save her. She had a hundred healings. She could have tried to do something against one of the weaker Pains. No, 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 no. She was healing people. She was out healing people. That's all. That's it. I mean, yeah, she. Don't Aren't that, there are other is, medical ninja? I mean, yeah, but that? she's also like one of the lead medical ninja. But like, I no, I get your point. But like, because there is that 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 moment where it's like Naruto, Naruto, where are you? And then Naruto shows up. It was or like so we need you or something like cringy. that. Cringy. <laughs> she's strong. Like she's not a, a fun what character. What the fuck does that have to do with pain? I know you want to talk about pain. God damn it! Sorry, <laughs> just thought I would mention that. But We're gonna get to Sakura later. Shit. Pain rolls into the village. Just <laughs> destroys everyone. Just kills Kakashi. Kills so many people. Yeah, kills Choji's family. Makes Tsunade look like a complete clown. <laughs> <laughs> and then Naruto shows up. Sage Naruto, one of the strongest characters in the series Dude, up to that point. The fucking okay, Naruto's entrance when he fights Pain and it's like he, he's on he's he, he's, he's in, on the toad. He's on the toad. On the he's on the giant, pin, toad. giant toad and he's in the fucking um he's in the the robe. Oh my fucking god, that's that so, so good. cool. That and is the coolest shit ever. By the way, Pain still fucking bodied Naruto in the end. <laughs> he fucking put chakra rods through him. He was like, oh, you have stage mode? I have six pads of pain. You suck. <laughs> and Naruto killed a good few of them. But guess he what? He killed all of them. He killed all of them except uh, the diva path. Yeah. And then the diva path. And then Naruto has to use his... So Naruto goes into his uh, seven, six-tailed form? Uh, s- six. Yeah, it's six. Uh, when he when he's when he's in the the planetary devastation, I think he goes eight tails. He goes eight tails on the planet. Yeah. Because Payne's literally like, all right, fuck you, I'll just put you in a meteor. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, by the way, in the anime, if anybody says that fight looks like garbage, you're a fucking moron and go fuck yourself. Uh yeah, no, Payne's cool. <laughs> Payne is a god, and I really like his transformation from victim of war a orphan who despises war and originally he's like yahiko's right we need to do this peacefully to i am going to crush you yeah with the force of a thousand suns it was like it, it really hits home where it's like where where naruto's pinned down and he's like you destroyed like my home my friends my village like you know you're i'm going to kill you um and he's like you know the leaf village did all that shit to my home and my family and my friends so like what are you gonna do like what are you gonna like how are you gonna make it up to me like there there is no yeah dude Payne's there's like, nothing you can do pain's like do you hate me yet because i know i hate you <laughs> and i'm glad i did this yeah i mean eventually he comes around and he's like well look you've beaten me 
I'll just I'll just have to trust you like it's Master just, Jiraiya did. Uh, yeah, well, it's just, it's the ending that really like puts a dower on pick. That's why I think Obito's a better villain because like yeah, they both get quote unquote like you know talk no jutsu, but at, at the same time Obito's one makes more sense and Pains is like oh excuse me oh Pains is just like oh man that puts a bad taste in my mouth. I do like it it, it just like bringing everyone back uh then what was the point like what was the whole point okay of it? well that was bad but like i think the whole thing where naruto's like look i don't know how i'm gonna do it i just know this isn't the right way yeah i think that's a really human moment for both of them and no I, like, I do pain's like you know yeah i i think so i think you're right it's just the fact that but he should he, i mean he, he should brings, have brought everything he back. brings everything back and it's just like oh everything's fine and uh. if kakashi had died there and like been killed in a super awesome way by tendo pain yeah. i think that would have been an amazing way for him to go out i mean yeah but like kakashi also has things later to do in the series so that's why i'm like kind of torn but like who, but gives, a, make him who gives a shit about the the kind of lesser characters like shizune and fucking choji's family or whatever like who gives a shit <laughs> choji's entire family yeah like, you should have just left those people dead. I'm sorry. Like Also, why didn't we get a fight, in the like, in the opening where Conan was fighting Hinata, Sakura, and Ina? Well, Ina's irrelevant, but, like, yeah. imagine like her opening, fighting all of them at once. That, that would have be been cool. fucking awesome. That's what happens, man. Happen. Anime openings, they're like, they get you hyped, but then it never actually it happens happen. in the show. <laughs> but the fight with Pain was still... Yeah. I he's, mean, he's great. He's really fucking solid, man. Anyone with the Rinnegan, like, the Rinnegan is just stupid cool. And Payne was the one who was, like, he really, like, he was the first one to use the Rinnegan and just show how fucking insane it was. Yeah. And it was amazing. Yeah. But, it was okay. pretty dope. We, we talked about Payne for so long. Yeah, we talked about him long He's enough. a god. Uh, the Raikage? He's aight. Yeah. He's aight. Yeah, he's he's aight. He's not bad. It's pretty um, cool. Yeah, he has that cool fight with Sasuke. He literally cuts off his own arm, and that's dope as shit. Um, he has that fight with Naruto. Um, uh, that's cool. You know, he does some some cool things, but like he doesn't really have like an arc, um, or even like a character. It's just kind of like I'm mad about everything. <laughs> uh, that's it. It's kind of. Uh, I don't know. He's not really that memorable, but like, he's fine. He's okay um rin uh i don't even remember her last name uh irrelevant irrelevant yeah she's more like a stepping stone for kakashi and obito than yeah. anything else she really has no character she's, she's really more of an idea than an actual character like there's not she did ask kakashi to stab her though to save the leaf village yeah that was pretty interesting that was but... okay but it's kind of um, one note, and it's yeah. like, eh. Yeah. 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 All Rockley. Right. Rockley. We're going to put Rockley in fucking... Oh, wait. <laughs> Hella good. Irrelevant. Right. <laughs> no, fuck you. Rockley's a god. Uh, yeah, no. Rockley's really good. Um, it's just that, again, he doesn't do a lot after... Like, he does nothing in Shippuden. Yeah. No. He does absolutely nothing. And everybody loves him because of, you know, his fight with Gara and what he does in the tuning exams. And that's cool. That's fine. You know, the, you know, the theme of hard work versus natural talent. Yep. Sure. Cool. Awesome. Uh, it's just that he doesn't really do much after that. Um, and that's disappointing. But, you know. Damn, Shippuden had so many episodes and they still couldn't make use of all these awesome characters. Uh, yeah. What the fuck? Um, yeah, that's really, that's really the saddest part about Shippuden is that they naruto has such a large cast and they don't really take you know they don't really use the cast to their advantage it's just kind of like oh yeah that's it they're rock Lee is off fighting like the seven swordsmen but nobody gives a shit because who cares um but yeah no he's he's good he's solid hagaromo <laughs> fuck who cares he's all right i guess i honestly don't I no he's you, irrelevant i yeah you know I what mean, he does things considering considering i started out with uh who cares i guess yeah he's pretty fucking irrelevant like i mean he does things but it's literally just 
Here you go, Naruto and Sasuke, actual important characters. Why don't you do like, this? Like, narratively and thematically, he does nothing in this story. Like, there's nothing. Literally, he it's doesn't It's just, know. he's there. He's just a power boost. Who cares? And he's just the thing. And the fact that he's tied to Kaguya is, like, <laughs> gross. Yeah. Because Kaguya sucks. Um, Sai. Okay. I know that you don't like Sai. <laughs> Did I say I really don't care that much one way or the other really? about Sai. I think he's fine. I think, yeah. It's I not think the he's, worst. I think he's okay. Um... I'm tempted to put him in hella good, honestly, because, I'm like... I'm not tempted to put him in hella He's... Good. I mean, he has, like, a really solid character arc. And I get it. Like, people don't like him. But, like... But, like, why? He, he... He's not offensive. And he has things to do after his arc. Um, which I think a lot of characters don't normally. But, but I mean, barely any, though. He's not really like, relevant. barely, barely. But even And besides still, that, his character arc is more of, like... A mini like a mini arc it's not like well no he has a just... full-blown character arc like the entire sasuke uh whatever fucking arc that tenshi bridge that's what the yeah for whatever reason um the tenshi bridge arc he has like an entire character arc through that like up until the end and like he comes to understand naruto and sasuke and like why they're friends and like, what friendship means um he also has a really uh he has really has a has a character arc in the uh the shikamaru light novels which is cool oh yeah because um, he went to the land of silence yeah right? yeah 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 um uh so i just i thought that was cool but like look sai's not bad sai a lot of people hate on him yeah but he's not he's I, not offensive to me and i actually like i just his little arc i think is okay. he's better than like Konkuro and aruka but like, i don't think he's better than like conan or I mean, Hidan or Kakazu, honestly. I don't think he's better than But he people. has, like, an actual character arc. These guys don't. They're just kind of there. You know what I mean? I mean, I get it. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I also wouldn't put him up with, like, Rock Lee or Minato, though. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, I, I don't want to put him up there he with... He has, like, his... his he, I feel like he should be in his own category right between these two. Like, it's just... You know, it's Sai. Yeah, it's Sai. He's not bad. He he has a character arc. It's just like, eh. Yeah. He's not even poorly written. It's just like, eh. I think that's it. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, he's fine. I'll put him at I'll put him at the top of its eye. Even though we're not really like numbering these, but like you know what I mean. It's not like in an, a specific order, but it's just. I don't, I don't know what else to do with him. You know what I mean? I don't. Um, I did, I don't think he. He just doesn't rise to hell good. He's. But for what he is. Yeah. He's fine. Yeah. 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 Sakura. Sakura Haruno. All right. This is a character. Sakura Haruno. Number one. <laughs> number one. Naruto. Get down there. Fuck you, Naruto. <laughs> Sakura oh, Haruno. Sakura. If I had to be said to hate a character. <laughs> unfortunate <laughs> i don't even want to put her in irrelevant i mean she but i don't want to call though. her trash though she's not i mean she's not trash she's i she's i oh i don't even want to call it I, <laughs> I just remember watching the forest of death and like the tuning exams and she was so annoying i actually every time she was on screen <laughs> i just wanted to gouge my wrist out i was like just just I know this is the whole point of your character arc, but you just need to stop talking. I, it's just like she tries so hard, and but it, she just comes up short so many times. Like, like they give her like power boosts, and then people say she beat Sasori, which is just not true. She didn't. I mean, she helped beat him. But she like, helped beat him, but she she like, didn't single handedly beat Sasori. Like, no. That was that was a good you that like Sakura got some like a good, she got a good like part of that action and yeah. it was like that was interesting that was good yeah but then it's like she doesn't she just doesn't do anything except to whine and be in love with Sasuke <sighs> despite yeah. the fact that he's just like yeah I honestly wish Sasuke had just killed her. <laughs> 
<laughs> literally. I think that would have been. I don't. I don't know, man. Like I don't away. think. I don't think it goes that far. But like, mirror Kakashi and Rin. She has <laughs> just fucking stabs her. He's she like, has this the is what same. You get. She has the same problem of like Lucy Hartfelia from Fairy Tale, where it's just like she tries and does like she's always there, and it's always like she gets so close to doing stuff, to being like relevant and important, but then she just never is, and that's annoying. That's really annoying for like every arc to be like, man, maybe Sakura will do something here. <laughs> she's one of the main characters, and then she just doesn't like. Ugh. After, what, 15 years of that? That gets really fucking old. Like... I just think she's irrelevant. I just... I just... Hate her. I think she's just okay. I like her more in Boruto as a mom <laughs> than I ever have in any of Naruto. Um, because she's not constantly whining. That's a good start. Yeah, and she's, like, protecting like, her, her daughter and, like, she just gets shit done, kind of. Like, you know what I mean? She's just an adult. Yeah, an actual, like, <laughs> She's, like, an actual adult even more than, like, Naruto. I just, <laughs> I just hate that she pines after Sasuke. Disp like, yeah, like, yeah. it just borders on yeah. mental illness. Yeah, it's, un point. it's unattractive. It's a little It's not good. It's, it's not... I don't care that it's unattractive. <laughs> no, it's I mean, like, it's like, not appealing. It's unappealing to her character. It's definitely not appealing. It's yeah. just, like, oh, what are you doing? Yeah, it's... This guy uh, is... Hey, he's dude. tried to kill you like four times are you serious literally without remorse tried to murder her yeah. and everyone she likes yeah i did not give a sick was on the way to destroy the leaf village <laughs> literally yeah and to and obito was like yeah uh pain's already fucking yeah doing it, it. it's just like she's not completely irrelevant and she's not trash yeah, i like, guess because she's I don't a main hate character her. Because she's a main character, we can't say she's irrelevant. But, like, she's the weakest a main character could possibly be. Naruto and Sasuke... Are... Look at the rest of this list. Look at the rest of the people in our right. And we're putting a main fucking character here. Like... Guys, just... I'm putting Sai above her. I'm putting Sai above her. Think of how much screen time... Konkuro... <laughs> Kiba... <laughs> the third Hokage... Darui... Think about, many, think about how much screen time they have. Think how much screen time they have. And then think about how much Sakura Haruno has a main character's worth of screen time. And then think about how efficiently they use it and how inefficiently oh, Sakura uses it. Oh my fucking god. It's absurd. Holy shit. Sakura sucks. Sakura. Like, she, she just does so little. Uh, I don't know. It's not that she's weak, it's just that she's yeah. terrible. <laughs> Let's get to a good character. Yeah. Sassery. Sassery. Oh, Hella good. Uh, I honestly, like... What? I kind of want to put him close to Yeezy. You want to put him in close to Yeezy? He's just so awesome. He's super cool. He's and, like, ridiculously interesting. Like, I get it. He has no emotions because he's a fucking puppet, but, like... You know, even then, that can still... That's still kind of interesting to me. I don't know. It's uh, interesting because, like... It's just he's there for that one arc, and then he doesn't do anything. Yeah. And, like, he doesn't have, like, a lasting impact like Daedara does. You know what I mean? It's kind of um, limiting, but Sasori is... I mean, his powers are awesome. Yeah. He's, like... <laughs> and he's... he's Like, him and Daedara both are exactly my aesthetic. Like, I love their, like, designs. Him and Daedara are a fucking perfect pair oh man they're both concerned about art i oh man you know what dude, yeah. Dude, hell yeah yeah we're putting sorcery in close because to sometimes easy even now. when they don't show up they just use the screen time they have really and they're just the best yeah they really are just godly yeah yeah i like them i like them a lot the best. i don't know and there's not even like I can't, like, there's not even a lot to say about him. It's just, like, I really like his aesthetic. Um, I really like his jutsu, his design. I like the fact that Konkuro can use him as a puppet later. That's pretty dope. Um, he does have a, he sort of has a mini arc. He, the thing yeah, about kinda. his parents. Yeah, the thing about like, his parents. And he's, like, 
I just, um, like, he let himself yeah. get hit by the final blow because he was like, yeah. I just, I just want to go back to him. Yeah, the, like, that's, that's, that's what I'm talking about, about him, like, being emotionless. Like, that's how he became the way he is, and, like, that's fine. Like, I like that. Um, also, Iron Sand, what uh, the fuck? <laughs> that's so stupid. Yeah, that's cool. pretty, that's pretty fucking metal. Um, no pun intended. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah no he's he's gee, like, again like I, I don't even think i can say like a super super ton about him there's just something about sasori man he's pretty fucking cool sasuke sasuke yeah throw that dude up he's there. he's the best character in naruto i don't care what anyone else says he's the best character in naruto he's the he's the most consistently written character th- all throughout the entire series everything he does makes perfectly logical sense uh what would you say about people who say he didn't act consistently during five kage summit dude are you fucking blind are you going as blind as sasuke during that arc dude get the fuck out of here like that's that like that's where it it gets me because it's like why was he so up in arms about fucking uh you know like itachi like he got what he wanted it's like yeah but then he found out that everything he does did was meaningless Everything he did was, was, uh, he was, he thought, he thought he was killing Itachi, but in reality, he was a, he was a, a fucking pawn in Itachi's ultimate goal for him to die. Like, that, fuck. <laughs> See, I really. And, 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 and through it all, my bad, cutting off, but like, in nah. through it all, like, it, it just further, you know, it, it gets emphasized by the fact that Donzo is the one who made Itachi do all that shit. Like, that's why he's so fucking obsessed with killing Danzo and uh, and attacking the five Kage. Like, because he's just on a fucking rampage of of angst and hatred and emotion. Like, god damn! Yeah, as evidence, I mean, he got the Mangekyo Sharingan and then he literally went blind i think within de- literal days yeah it's like it. within like a week he he like gets them on gekyo and then he's like all right we're going after the five kage and then he's almost blind at the end just of, like spamming <laughs> a madarasu <laughs> spamming just... a madarasu susano like do i like sasuke better than obito or pain though mm, sasuke, i really like obito, sasuke though. is without a doubt my favorite here, let me let me let me arrange the characters right now, cause like this is it. Like, just move Itachi down here, and th- this is my this. Th- these are my top probably four favorite characters in Naruto. Um, oh man, he's just really fucking. He's just solid, man. He's just all throughout, and like, there's so many emotion. Like again, like the 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 moment where he, you know, Itachi's apologizing to him with the forehead tap um the 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 one where he's crying on the uh the uh, in it like over the sunset and and then the mangekyo comes out and, he, and it's like we are now taco we will destroy the hidden leaf i'm like ha ah, ah, sasuke the the where where him and naruto first fight um and and he's 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 uh he's like hanging his head over an unconscious naruto and then he just walks away like fuck man Dude, Sasuke just gets to me, man. He gets to me. Yeah, Sasuke belongs in yes. Yeah, no every doubt about everything it. he does like is is a a complete foil to Naruto in 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 a in a sense that Naruto is is the most optimistic version of of a character that can be placed in this kind of fucked up world that they live in, and and he wants the best for everything and tries to get everything like headed in the right direction and sasuke is a vehicle to question everything of in in the ninja world like why everything happens and and questioning what like what naruto's true ideals are like kishimoto like naruto's the the main character and so he like wins but like kishimoto agrees more with sasuke like that was in an interview i'm pretty sure that he agrees more with sasuke than literally naruto like the main fucking character so like it it really says something about how like consistently written sasuke is i mean i agree more with sasuke than with naruto to be honest with you i mean i (laughs) i'm gonna be be (laughs) honest i really agreed more with like 
Pain and Obito than Naruto, but... I mean, but, like... I don't... There are, Obviously, there are things with Pain and Obito that I don't agree with on, like, how they went about doing it. Um, well, yeah, you probably shouldn't, like, murder a lot of people, but... I mean, but also, like... Pain's whole thing was that he wanted the world to experience the same pain, but then he also said that, like, you know, you couldn't, you know, you couldn't feel, or, or like, humans couldn't couldn't understand each other through emotions. Like, they, like, humans were ne are never going to understand each other, but at the same time, his whole ideal was to unite the world through pain. So, like, how the, you know, how is that going to work? Well, they can't understand each other. The only way you can understand each other is through something that all people share which is like pain yeah but even but after that he said like n you can't connect everybody through emotion and pain like pain is an emotion like you pain's so, not necessarily an emotion though it's what like what do a, you mean yes it is it's not you feel there's emotional wanted, pain but there's wanted, also physical pain yeah but that's what i mean like the emotional pain of loss through war was what he was trying to connect everybody through and that was how he was going to lead the world into peace, which doesn't really make sense. No, it does, because if you have a weapon so powerful that it makes wars impossible to fight, then you can't, if you can't fight wars anymore, then you have to be at peace. Yeah, but just going around killing a bunch of people and being like, oh, this is all in the name for peace, like, that's what Naruto was like, how is any... But that was, he was trying to get the Jubi. He wasn't trying to kill people, he just needed the Jubi. I'm sorry. After they literally, after he gets confirmation that the Jubi isn't in Konoha, he then blows it up <laughs> because he's like, "Fuck you guys." He, need, he wanted Naruto to come back. Now, obviously, no, he, you know he. They were about to head to Mount Miyokobu to go get Naruto, and then Konan was like. What are you doing, Pain? If you do that, you're just putting more strain on your body. And then he's like, I don't give a shit. And then he fucking almighty pushes Konoha into oblivion. That is what ha that is what happens. I think because he knew that Naruto would get there faster. Who the he didn't know he was coming. He didn't know dude. he was coming. Yes, he dude. He knew that Naruto would come if the Hidden Nobody, Leaf Village was under threat. He had, I mean, he had an idea, maybe. I don't even think if that was addressed or not. I have, I don't remember. But Are like, you telling me that Pain didn't have intel on Naruto? He literally, the entire point of him going into Konoha was that him questioning everybody, like, where is the Nine Tails? Where is the QB? And everybody's like, either I don't know, or they're like, I'm not going to sell out a comrade. And then he fucking murks them like that's what happens yeah i mean pretty much <laughs> yeah that's not peace fuck that <laughs> no but it's i mean it's in it's like it's you're imperfect yeah you're sacrificing the present for the future that's what pain is doing he's destroying everything in his path and then trying to carve his way to a future where nobody has to fight ever again that's his whole thing yeah but doing that isn't you're again you can doing ensure that, peace that way doing that isn't um isn't in it's, it's just enabling more revenge cycles you know what i mean like his whole thing was that he was getting revenge against konoha that's why he blew it the fuck up well but there like, can be no revenge when you have the ultimate weapon yeah you but can't like fight someone like but that. like you know it, and yeah know. that's why it's imperfect is because it's enabling more of these like cycles because the more pain destroys to reach, like, a peaceful future, the more he sort of corrupts that idea. Yeah. And that's why pain's imperfect, but, like... Anyway, Sasuke's the best character. We start talking about pain for, like, ten minutes there. Sasuke's not my favorite character, but he obviously belongs in Yes. Yeah, he so does. Like, he definitely belongs in Yes. He's whatever. my favorite character. Anyway, um... Fucking Shikamaru. What do you think? Because I'm thinking close... To Yeezy. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's pretty close to Yeezy. Yeah, he is. I I think he's definitely, like, the best supporting character in Naruto. One um, of the few characters that does things in part one and part two. Yeah, definitely. Um, and he, like, he... Man, I mean, I get why he's a fan favorite. Like, he just does so much. Um, and has... Not even, like, has, like, a super, like, interesting character, but, like... Just the way he goes about things is interesting. Um, 
like how leadership is kind of foisted on him because you know asuma realizes you know this kid's like he's yeah. a genius yeah and then he's like you're you're gonna have to you're gonna be a chutney yeah and shikamaru's like can you just shut the fuck up yeah <laughs> and he like, really doesn't want and it. and like becoming a leader and and learning how to be the leader that is you know the, to be a good leader like that's his whole character arc in uh the sasuke retrieval arc so and like, to accept losses yeah yeah sometimes you're gonna lose i mean you're gonna make decisions and you're gonna lose people even if you make like good decisions you're yeah. still gonna lose people. yeah and the whole shit where he fucking buries he don is whole oh man dude he's literally like good shit ever. bye yeah <laughs> blows him up he's um, like yeah, no, he's fucking super solid. Yeah, I mean, everybody fucking loves Shikamaru, so I don't think that we really have to say a lot about him, but, like, yeah, he's great. He's fucking awesome. He's cool. Uh, Shino... Shino. Dude, fucking irrelevant. Um, I kind of think he's I. But what does he do? What does he do? What did he do? What did he do? He doesn't do much. Uh, but much? He's... Anything! He doesn't do anything! <laughs> He's definitely, like... And he's... You can't even be like, oh, well, at least he's hot like Eno. He's not. He's not even hot. Look at him. All he's right. a terrible design. Yeah, he didn't do anything. <laughs> he does nothing. I kind of like Shino, though. I won't lie. He seems, like, chill. I'm like, a decent person. I think he he can be a decent person, I guess. But, like, fuck, man. They didn't really show anything of him being yeah, they, a decent person. He didn't really do anything. He didn't do anything. He did fight a few people in the tuning exam, but then his other fight was, I think... Yeah, it didn't happen. didn't happen. They didn't show it. Um, yeah, he fought the dude with the sound gauntlet or whatever. Yeah. I think. That's that's right. Oh, no, that was Choji. No, Choji fought that guy. Yeah. Who he did, fought... Who um, did... did he fight the girl? Did he fight the... Or maybe he fought the, the other dude? Girl? Did he fight the other dude? With the with the bullets or not the 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 the, the holes in his palms, yeah 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 he did some he drained some yeah. one of their yeah chocolate. no it was that I can't one remember it was that one. one yeah no, no it was that one yeah it was it was I knew it was one of the sound guys but yeah it was that guy the, the dude that got his arms broken by Sasuke or whatever yeah that was fun or shoulders dislocated, um crack, Shisui Shisui Uchiha is barely in the series but is somehow fucking ah, I don't even. I think he's... I feel like he's hella good, but I don't know. He's so cool. He's one of my favorite characters, honestly. He's kind of in the same realm as Minato, where he's really cool, yeah, but he's, he's really barely cool, there. Yeah, he's really cool, but he's barely, he barely no there. no presence at all. Yeah. But, I mean, for what it's worth, he had a little, like... He has, like, he has ideals, and, like, he wanted to stop the coup. Um, so, like, you kind of get a little bit of his character. Um, and he was Itachi's best friend. Yeah, he was Itachi's best friend and his sparring partner. Was was stronger than Itachi, apparently. I don't think that's true. Well, they say he was. How how could that possibly be Well, it was just because he was a little older than him. Oh, I guess that's fair. Yeah. That's, yeah. Um, like, when, it, when, when Itachi killed the clan, like, after Shisui died, like, I'm pretty sure he was, like, three or four years older than he was. So, like, that's the only reason why, but... That's probably that's fair. But yeah, he was just as skilled as Itachi, um, which is just ridiculous. To yeah, think about. dude, fucking sh shadow step, awesome ability. Yeah, why don't I just teleport? <laughs> um, yeah, he's cool. Uh, Shizune, irrelevant, irrelevant, irrelevant. She's hot though. Um, ten ten. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Tamari, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was looking at 10 10. Is this amateur um, hour? Uh, Tamari is okay. She's all right. Yeah, she's all right. I feel um, bad putting her with Sakura because she's 10 times better than Sakura, but whatever. Uh, yeah, but like, even then, she doesn't even do much. She beats 10 10, I guess. In the manga, that's all. She saves off Shikamaru. She saves, saves Shikamaru. She takes part in the uh, mission to help uh to save gara right or no does she stay behind no i think she stays behind oh fuck um in the shikamaru arc like in the the light novel in the side story she, she has a little thing she yeah, has a little she thing doesn't. there that's cool her and shikamaru hook up there it's really cute and i like it a lot yep 
I like, like Tamari. Tamari in like the actual series doesn't really do all that much. She's fine. I wish Sakura was in trash tier because it's like <laughs> I look at Sakura with all these other characters. Her. I don't hate her. Like Iruka and like fucking Darui and I don't Kona. Hate her. I don't hate Sakura. It's but just she like she sucks. It's just like she. Oh, it's just so annoying that she didn't do anything. But then she did do like a little tiny. You bit. should just put her in irrelevant, despite the fact that sometimes she no, did something. No, 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 no. I'm not putting her with like Jugo and fucking Rin. Dude, we have a fucking dog here for Christ's sake. We're about to have a pig. We're not putting Sakura in irrelevant. Dude, Sakura is less than irrelevant. No, I'm not putting her in irrelevant. You know who I'm gonna put in irrelevant? Garbage team. Fucking Tauntaun. Yeah, deserves sure. to be there god damn it all right 10 10 let's fucking do it the hottest character in the entire series <laughs> fuck yes. you right she's behind so Sasuke. Irrelevant. she's the cutest and the prettiest and she's i wanted so i want to kiss her on the lips what she's... did 10 10 ever do dude though? fucking nothing god damn it. Just... wait i lost it <laughs> where did she go oh shit oh she's, she's in close, close to easy. easy where she actually it's unfortunate because she's got I a just, good character design. Uh, i just like her she's so cute and pretty ah uh... She's cute, but too bad during too part bad, one. Too bad, Shin. She literally was like, Neji can never lose. He's so strong. He can never, you can never <laughs> trick Neji with his strategy. <laughs> Shut up, 1010. Uh, You're yeah. cute, but Jesus. And then yeah. Neji lost. And also, she got demolished by Tamari. Yeah. 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 It was actually funny. I just, she I was just like, ah. Uh, Oh, we need to defeat Kinkaku and Kinkaku with this certain weapon. <laughs> Who do we know that's a weapons expert? Who's what do you... Tenta, like, slightly raises her hand, and then Darui's like, We don't need anybody. We can do this by ourselves. <laughs> Who's our resident weapon specialist? Me, Darui. Fuck you. <laughs> Darui's just like... And then she was... And then... And then... And then... She, remember in the manga she had i don't know if this was in the anime probably not but she had in the manga she had like i remember she had this pot that was like what sealed kinkaku and ginkaku away and it was like they were gonna use that against madara and then like they didn't because like ten ten couldn't do anything you know what i mean <laughs> there was literally like dedicated scenes to ten ten running to the battlefield where madara was at and then she just like passes out and i'm like are you fucking kidding me <laughs> 1010 stops moderate. You though. couldn't give her anything, dude. 1010 stops moderate. Dude, 1010, dude, 1010 fucking is like a galaxy, but she could beat Thanos, honestly. If um, she was at the battlefield, like where Madara was, she would have bodied him without any difficulty. <laughs> it would have ended right there. Ah, oh, I just like her so much. She's so cute. Um, Toby Rama. Toby Rama. I is like I? Toby Rama a lot. Is that it? You think he's in hella good? I think he's underrated. I will say, I mean, I he's feel a like racist he is asshole, so like. Well, where, it's the fucking Uchiha. Where do you. <laughs> Madara fucking tried to. Oh, oh my now god. Now I see why you like him, because you're also racist. Bitch, I just told you I love Obito. Yeah, well. But to be honest, the Uchiha don't have a great track record. No, they don't. Well, at the time, they didn't. And honestly, they still don't, considering uh, Sasuke. Yeah. Yeah, 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 probably. I know he's racist, and that's not cool. It's not cool to be racist, kids. But Toby Rama is awesome. For At least it's kind of interesting. Fucking water wall, this bitch. I like the part where uh, Orochimaru brings them back, and like, <laughs> and like, uh, Toby Rama is like, oh, you're an Uchiha? To Sasuke, he's like, you're an Uchiha, I'll just kill you right here. And then Hashirama is like, no, you fucking won't. And then they start, I have to stand off, and it's like, it's like the ground starts crumbling and shit like that. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. I All consider right. Hashirama and Tobirama kind of linked, and that's why I think they're both in the same level. Like, both think, of them. I think Hashirama has more going on, though. Like, his relationship with Madara, at least. True, but I think Toby Rama and also being had a reincarnation of Indra or whatever. Like, yeah, but that's gay. I mean, yeah, but like, come on. Man. Okay, but like, <laughs> the, Toby Rama so also sad. had a relationship with Madara and Izuna. Well, he Ruma. killed Izuna. Yeah, dude, it wasn't really a relationship. Izuna... It was just they're both the little brothers of the the guys, and then Toby Rama kills him. Okay, but can I just say something? Fucking, he got killed by King Kaku and Gink. Izuna, <laughs> Izuna was relative. <laughs> 
to fucking Madara. He was almost as strong as Madara, and this guy's getting killed by King Kaku he and was King Kaku. He was not almost strong as Madara. Yeah, Izuno was relative to Madara. Oh, I thought you were talking about Tobarama. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, so at the time he at was. The time. But, like, this was years and years later. Toby Rama is not weaker than King. That's just a retarded <laughs> I'm not way for saying him to die. that he is, but just that's so what happened. Stupid. Like, <sighs> yeah, no, I agree. It's kind of it's kind of lame. People um, underrate that guy, but whatever. He's cool. Tsunade? Do we want to talk about Tsunade? Well, what do you think? I don't care. I, I really don't, don't care. care. Tsunade, Tsunade is like whatever. Why are all the female characters like whatever? She's an okay character. Who's the highest female character we have? There's none in the top. Uh-uh. There's none in the... <laughs> Are we going to get accused of no, sexism? No, every, dude, everybody knows... Haku, there you go. There's the female. Haku. Uh, everybody knows that Kishimoto can't write females, dude. Everybody knows that. Well... All of the, his female characters are poorly written. Like... Is there anyone we can reevaluate and boost up to hella good? Well, you can make a good argument for Tsunade. She's pretty layered when you first meet her. Like, she actually considers kind selling of, them out. Kind of her. layered. But I think that makes her really human. Because uh, she's just yeah, been through so much. I guess. I guess you can make a case for Hin- or not Hinata, Tsunade, but I was just, the right, he, she's right of blood. <laughs> we have so many girls and it's like. I think you could, I think you could justify chucking her up to hella good. You know what? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You can make a case for it. I just think. Boom. Sexism allegations deflected. I just think that. I just think that there's not a lot going for her in Shippuden. And, like, no, there's, there's kind not. of, like, some stuff there with, like, her and Naruto in the beginning. Like, it's just, it it just doesn't, it just doesn't really go anywhere. She has her dead lover and brother that re- Naruto reminds her of them. So, like, that's okay, whatever. The more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm just like, no, I don't think she's in hella good. You know what All I right, mean? Bump her back down, I don't think. I just think she's. Uh, I uh, think she's one of the most grounded and like human characters of all of them. Like, uh, yeah, that's it though. I don't think. I don't, I don't know. It's fine. She's fine. Oh well. Can we just get to the worst two characters in the fucking series though? Oh, you don't like Yamato, dude. Yamato. Sucks. Are He's you okay. kidding? He's not the worst. Yamato is the worst plot device in any story ever, and also he has no personality. Why do you like Sai, but you don't like Yamato? Yeah, that at least Sai me. has an arc. That's why I like Sai, because he has an an okay arc through at least that one, you know, through Tenchi Bridge. But, like, Yamato is just there, and then he's like, oh, uh, I, you know, stop my tails because I have wood or whatever. And it's like, okay, fucking, yeah, all right, all right, cool, whatever. And then he does nothing. He does nothing. And then later on, he's like, he's like supposed to monitor Orochimaru through all the horse shit that he does, and he becomes a fucking gag. And it's like, what are you doing, dude? Like, aren't you supposed to be like, uh, one of the best Anbu in the, like, weren't you under fucking Kakashi squad at one point? Are you supposed to be really cool? <laughs> Fuck you, Yamato. Fuck you. You're going right in trash. You wow. suck. My man hates Yamato. Honestly, I have not that much against Yamato. I just don't care about him. But like, fuck yeah. you, Yamato. Fuck you. And so fuck you too, Zetsu. You Zetsu's suck fine. too, dude. Zetsu's fine. He's just the Akatsuki's recon man. Yeah, he's the Akatsuki's recon man who has to chime in in every single fucking fight to give it a pers- an outside perspective. And I'm like, go away. I don't need you here. Please leave. And then at the very end, he's like, oh, I was actually the will of Kaguya all along. <laughs> Something dick. And then he fucking y- yoinks Madara, and it's like, what the fuck? What was happening? What's happening? <laughs> Zetsu! Well, if you have a problem with I was really the will of Kaguya all along, Madara. I was just tricking you for like a thousand years. <laughs> like, If you have a problem with people here. fucking chiming in when they have no place <laughs> to, I don't know why Sakura is in I8. Because she chimes in, oh, every single time. Dude, every single I just time. remember. I just so remember. So inane. I just remember the fight. Well, no, not really. I remember the fight between Itachi and Sasuke, and that fight would be better if Zetsu was fucking missing because he takes up so much fucking time with just explaining what the fuck is happening and i'm like dude oh i do, i don't need you to explain it just like please just 
Oh, you know what would have been better if Sakura was fucking blotted out of the series? You are still on about... Dude, we talked about Sakura like eight hours ago, man. Come I on. just hate Sakura. <laughs> she's fine. She fine. is not fine. All right, whatever. In all of part one, she's not fine. All right, In whatever. all of part two, she's not no fine. No tuning exam. She had that one moment where she bit the dude. That was oh, cool. She literally... <laughs> Literally put her on the same level as Kiba's dog, because Kiba's dog had better jutsu than her fucking dumbass. Nah, man, it was the clone. She, he was like, oh, I know that's a, uh, I don't, uh, you know, I know that's a clone too. And then she fucking bit, bites him. She's fucking like, retarded. She's like, she's, she's just like rah, rah, rah. dog level attack right there. <laughs> dog level attack. Yeah, she's she can't do a lot. Sasuke should have killed. She her. has good chakra control though, which gets her oh. something. Oh well, fucking <laughs> just take on Milo right now. Uh, well, you know who else it. had good chakra control? Oh, okay, you're still going. Tsunade. Yeah. She what? cracked Madara's Susano ribcage, and he was like, I got like 19 more of those. Um, what, Sakura punched Kaguya. Oh, wow. To make she it so... punched Kaguya. Well, that made it so fucking Naruto and Sasuke could hit her. That was bullshit. What? Everything she did was bullshit. She, <laughs> she did, did not deserve she to be did. on the level of the she sixth... Did. That one thing in the entire fight, and that's it? And you think that's the bullshit part? <laughs> that's, no. The fact that she was even able to contribute anything <laughs> is just bullshit. Like, I'm all for having Sakura contribute, but then you need to you need to make it seem like it was earned. I mean, Sasuke Well, Well, the whole Naruto. point was that Naruto and Sasuke were distracting her, and then Sakura literally punched her in the back of the head and... Forced her into Naruto and Sasuke's You're telling palm. me someone with a fucking Rinnegan for a third eye couldn't detect <laughs> Sakura Haruno coming at her? Fuck out of here! <laughs> it's the Rinnegan! <laughs> look, the man, fuck? Look, man, I'm not telling you anything besides what happened. That was what happened. Well, that's fun. That, that's I'm just telling what you that what happened was gay and it was dumb. Alright, well, we're done. Wait, I can't use gay as a pejorative. <laughs> Not <laughs> we're not sexist we're not homophobic disclaimer that not now sexist, nobody can report even us. though we have no female characters no, above well I, except haku that's not our fault hey except, haku. except haku, my bad i forgot i forgot about haku um and sexy jutsu naruto yeah why isn't she on this list yeah where is she she'd be an immediate yes Are you and kidding? sasuke dude what if right, sasuke right was there, a girl sasuke. That would make Sasuke a better character. No, wait, wouldn't. Shut up. Dude, hell Shut yeah. Up. We're done. Dude, hell All right, yeah. we're done. We're done. All right. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs> Later.